monkey とかさ。Maybe I have a chance. You don't deserve me. You don't deserve me. You wouldn't be able to handle me. I'm too powerful for you. My GFV is too strong for you, Chet. Yeah. So you'll be there, okay? Today. Mm. Today. Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Today. Ah, 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 ah. Today. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art, as well. Some of it. Some of it a little lewd. Uh, to to tho to those of you to those of you drawing me with horses, um, y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I re I really truly I hope I hope you get the help you need. Yeah, right. Explain this to me like I'm retarded. That won't be that hard. What's up, everybody? Good to see you guys in the chat. Got some new reactions today that I wanted to debut there. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Literally having a great day out here. It is 11 p.m. here in Bangkok, Thailand, and this is a legal mindset. We teach you to be your own judge. I'm Andrew Esquire, American attorney living over here in Asia, and uh, we're going to have another banger here tonight. Now, I know, friends, uh, gentlemen, countrymen, uh, you have may, you may be, you may be, maybe, maybe, uh, got a lot of information, information overload with the contract today, uh, in the morning. Well, this one today, this one tonight is no less of a bombshell than the contract that you saw this morning. So this is just as much of a thing. And it's something that I didn't expect to do. Uh, so we're going to be getting into that today. Uh, we're also going to go over little clips. I also may touch on the issue with, um, because this should be a little shorter than reviewing the other contract, uh, Okai, uh, Ofkai Expo. I may talk about that at the end here. And then I, I want to just maybe for two seconds, I'll talk about Bao at the end maybe. Uh, but other than that, this is going to be a big bombshell one. This is about uh, Sayu. Sayu, and I have realized I have been mispronouncing her name this entire time, and it is the sound of Sayu's silence. Uh, we're going to be getting into that today, and if you thought it couldn't get worse, well, you don't know Niji Sanji. Um, so this is this is Niji, baby. Uh, we have a packed 24 hours, and mm, I'm a little thirsty here, guys. Don't mind me here. Uh, I am going to be taking a live stream break uh, tomorrow, my time. So there will not be a PM or an AM stream uh, tomorrow, uh, Eastern time or, or Asia time, whatever. Um, but I will be back after that. So my, I'll be back on Friday morning, which will be your Thursday evening. So uh, I'll be back, um, yeah, Thursday evening for you guys. So I uh, just want to take that out because I have been doing so much research I've been doing so much, and I need to get to clipping. I need to get to making summaries. Uh, I'm going to be doing some of that tonight after the stream, making a summary uh, summary stream. Um, I, I see you guys making fun of me being thirsty, and it's not that type of thirsty, okay? Behave yourself. Disgusting. Okay. Um, so that said, make sure you guys are subbed here. Uh, make sure you guys smash the like button. Make sure you share this out. Make sure you guys tell people it's yet another Giant stream, Coca Cola, not sponsored. No, definitely not. I'm just, I, I like Coke Zero. It's my thing. It's my thing. I just like the taste. So, mm. we're chugging here. Also got my Thai Red Bull. So you know, we got my my Thai Bowl here. So we'll be hitting that after the stream as well. Also, shout out to my um, fans over here that are in Asia. I really appreciate those that like shout out and um, and kind of talk about stuff living on Asia side. It's a little bit different living over here. And there's been some really cool VTubers that are local that have hit me up. And I just want to say it's really cool to talk to y'all, especially those out there in Japan, in Korea, in Thailand. Thank you for reaching out. It's really, really good to talk to you guys uh, on Twitter, on Discord, other places as well. So thank you guys for reaching out and hanging out. Um, so the first thing I need to do is apologize because... My last stream, uh, we had Oshino who sent in a super chat and he sent in a super chat for me to read something and I forgot to do it and I promised to do it in the end of the stream and I forgot.
because I, well, I was rushing off the stream because I was just tired and I needed some rest and I was super hungry. But I forgot to review the base list. So we're going to start with the base list tonight. But before that, uh, are you not a Halim for 2000 Indian uh, Indonesian? Thank you so much. Somebody like says Coca Cola, not sponsored. No. And uh, Maz Mazrova Palma says, for 100 check krona, the party is starting. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So let's start the party with the base list, right? With the base list. So this is the final update to this list, the bandwagon list, which was made by a fan of the channel. And I do not want to be guilty of a betrayal of my fans. So in all the hard work they put in, turning this ban list into a base list. For a final update, wait, please see the video. Okay, well, hold on. Hold on, what is this? What is this? Hello, I'm Rick Tazmi, CEO of Anikara Inc. I'm making this video to speak directly to you. Please allow me this time to address this all. <laughs> I am Oshino, CEO of the base. Oh my God. And victim of Vasha's personal paparazzi stalkers. No, no, no. I am making this video to speak directly to you, the VTuber fans, and everyone who supports legal mindset. First of all, I deeply apologize for not adding many people to the list. It's impossible to add everyone. Let me apologize for any misunderstanding oh caused God. by turning a blacklist into a based list. The people on the list were always based. After announcing the termination of Sealand's contract, the Nijasanji backlash was massive. A group of individuals took it upon themselves to make a list of people to block. I took it upon myself to alter the list. Pray I do not alter it any further. I deeply regret that this may be the last time that I get to add to this meme and will be thinking of other ways to actively support our community in the meantime. Please, continue to support your favorite talent, whether they are in Nijasanji, Hololive, FaZe, or any other corporate VTuber, no matter the mistakes of their company. <coughs> Do not let the incompetence of a company determine the fate of the people working for them. Also, please support indie VTubers as well. I would also like to apologize to Rima for any horse allegations going around. I do not think people intend to stir up trouble. The main point was to have fun, but I want there to be no equestrian about it, we do not mean any harm. I must hang up my hat now as I move on from this with one final statement. If everyone would notice on the based list that the link to legal mindset under the notable section is not a link directly to his page, but a video of my favorite legal mindset moment. Please be sure to watch it. Thank you for your sink attention. The yard, sink the yard, get them for everything good. they got. We won't forgive and we won't forget what they took away. Empires rise, and tyrants oh, so fall, good. but we are steadfast so through it all. The world will so remember good. how we fought to sink the yard. That's so cool. Very good. Very good. I like it. I like it. I like it. Very good. This is so good. Wow. That was great. That was fantastic. Thank you so much, Oshino, for that. I'm so sorry. That's so amazing. Thank you. I I'm really inspired by how creative everyone is here. This is, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, and of course, there's been so many memes added to this list. Guys, you can check it out, the bandwagons list. I'll post it again in the chat. Uh, and actually, you know what? I'll put it here. And then I should be able to pin it real quick uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, uh, when it goes out. Uh, but yes, check out the list. I'll double post it here so you guys see it. Uh, but check that out. Check that out, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys can uh, can check out this list and enjoy it um i i i'm afraid to to click some of these links so we'll just we'll just you know we'll just let you guys explore that um uh, let me let me check this link before i click on it real quick
Okay, hold on one second. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to spoil the link. I thought I thought it might be something like that, so I'm not going to spoil the link. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oshino, thank you so much, bro. You are great. You're, you're perfect. Never change, brother. Never change. Uh, what country are you in? Thailand or Taiwan? Or sorry, Thailand or Taiwan? Thailand. Thailand. Uh, I think I mentioned Taiwan. I need to visit Taiwan. A lot of anime is based off of Taiwan. I have a good friend of mine who's a comic artist, uh, Rini. She's actually from Taiwan. Uh, and I do want to visit Taiwan uh, and check it out. I think I'll quite like it. I really do think I'll quite like it. So I do plan on visiting Taiwan in the future. I spend most of my time between Thailand, Korea, or Japan. So the, between those three countries, I'm in the majority of the time. Although I'll be in the Philippines in two weeks. So uh, Tank Rat says, about time. I was getting bored at work. I need some fig money and a you crocodile. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you, Tank Rat. Fucking monkey. Hold on, hold on. Maybe whoa, whoa. I have a chance. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tank Rat. Thanks for supporting the channel. Great for 10 Hong Kong says, watch you at 12 p.m. Now I'm watching you at 12 a.m. My, how the tables have turned. Drunken Finn says, just finished the contract review, VOD, and the contract is in line with um, in the lines of sending your cannibal neighbors food, so they may or may not eat you. <laughs> Rhythm says, oh my God, Rima's relatives being so based with me. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, Pyromander says, first a live stream I watched from the most base lawyer on YouTube, and I've watched lots of videos of you absolutely destroying Niji. Lots of love for you. Lots of love for you guys. I wouldn't do this without this being such a positive community. And one of the reasons why I like doing stuff and helping out the VTuber community is because you guys are positive, and I get so much thanks and love from you guys, whether it's in the comments, emails, uh, Twitter messages or X messages, Discord. I really appreciate all y'all. And I've I've actually, I can say this, I, I'm going to keep it confidential, but I have had people both who run VTubing agencies and VTubers reach out to me uh, for my thoughts, for my uh, opinions, right, on things, uh, keeping those completely confidential. And I really uh, appreciate, I really truly appreciate that. Really truly appreciate that. So, um, and I'm I'm glad I was able to help them. I'm going to play one more clip because this was requested at some point, and then we're going to get on with the analysis. Uh, let's watch this one real quick. This is actually really funny. It's just a short. Some of you may have missed this, but I realized something horrifying is that if you piss off a VTuber, they can both be on stream and running directly at your house at maximum speed at the same time, and you would never know. That terrifies me. That's a superpower we don't have in the rest of the streaming world, and that scares the shit out of me. Very, very good, funny one. Someone sent that to me. Very, very funny. Very, very true. Um, Dizzle, new member. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Mitchie Lowe says, I sent you a uh, clip through Twitter. I think I mentioned our favorite bass rabbit with Philly. And yes, uh, Mitchie Lottie, I have that one later. Uh, it's about halfway through. So when we get through the, um, after the off Kai stuff, we'll get to that clip. It's like, Cued okay, it's cued, so that one's queued up. Uh, Copacetic says, Now, if you can only pronounce Kirsha, it's but yeah, basically put an A at the end. I know it's German for cherry, I'm aware, I'm aware. And despite speaking German, I mispronounce things all the time, it happens. Uh, player, it's a uh, welcome as a YouTube member, thank you. Uh, Lele Skewer says, I'm thinking of maybe taking it easy on the super chats, but guess who got their tax return today? Woo! That's right. Let me Fighting drop the monkey. Appreciate it, bro. Appreciate your support of this channel. Helps me do this day to day and, and let me know what you guys are interested in. You know, when you guys send super chats, it helps me know the topics you are interested in, good questions you're interested in, and where I can better improve my show because I'm always trying to improve my show. I never think my show is perfect. It always has room for improvement. Town X, also, thank you for gifting one Legal Mindset membership. Appreciate you. All right. So, Real quick, before we get into the Sayu part, which we will get to, uh, we have to address, I want to address one thing here, which is, uh, I noticed this on Reddit, on the Niji Reddit. 
So apparently, apparently, the stock bros have taken notice of my coverage. So apparently, apparently, the stock bros, the Japanese stock bros, are paying attention to my coverage. Now, um, this is very interesting. So saying, ah, now the contract has leaked. If you're interested, you can see it on Legal Mindsets, today's uh, feed on YouTube. Article 23 in particular would be a surprise if it's real. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, for stock bros out there, for stock bros, um, the draft is real. Okay, whether or not that was signed ultimately, I know no, but that was from a very, very, very reliable source. It's real. And then somebody, uh, this is some cope, some cope from a stock bro, right? Who says, when it comes to contracts, false equals illegal forgery, true equals violation of confidentiality. I feel like it is a case of self-destruction regardless of the contents, but is it safe? It depends on the content of the contracts, but it is information that can only be attained in the course of business. Even if it's true, I think it is the kind of information that is usually disclosed in court. See, what the Japanese stock bros are not used to and what the Japanese people are not used to is fucking with the international game. See, this is what they don't realize. And I hope that the Japanese stock bros here uh, can wake up to this because this is when Niji Sanji is fucking with the international market. And see, what they're doing right now, and they're fucking with America or, or Canada or wherever else, they're playing Niji Sanji. See, let me put this on something. Niji Sanji is getting away with taking advantage of the fact that they're in Japan and using that to bully other people. But guess what, motherfuckers? We got laws and we got fucking rights in other countries. And that may not be true in certain circumstances in Japan. Apparently, some things uh, are okay in Japan. Well, that doesn't mean it's okay outside of Japan. And if they're going to do business on an international stage, they need to step the fuck up and act like responsible international actors. And if they think they can do this, well, they're fucking wrong, right? So what you can't do in America, for example, is violate the law and try to hide behind an NDA, okay? I know that might be okay in Japan. Maybe. I'm not a Japanese lawyer, right? Not a Japanese lawyer. But in America, that shit doesn't fly. I'm an American lawyer. I can say it straight up. That shit doesn't fly. You cannot violate somebody's rights. You cannot harass them. You cannot target them. You cannot target them because of their race, their gender, their background, their language, anything else that's protected. You cannot harass them. You cannot abuse them. You cannot have a hostile workplace and try to just make it come up in court. I know that's what Niji wants to do. And I know they're used to that because that's what they're used to in Japan where they can save face by keeping it in court. But guess what? If you want to play with the big boys, if you want to be an international company, you need to be internationally responsible. That sort of fucking response from a stock bro is absolutely fucking ignorant. And it's of a person in a, in a stock bro that thinks that they can just get away with hiding between hiding behind Japanese laws and courtroom procedure. That's bullshit. In America, this shit comes out. In America, we routinely have contracts reviewed before uh, as a process before court, right? We routinely look at NDAs and wipe our asses with them. So if you guys think that you could try to bully people, that you can try to abuse people, take advantage of their rights and get away with it because, you know, you can just wait for court to deal with that, fuck you. Fuck you, okay? So that's one thing. And also, if you think that I, as an attorney, would falsify a document, also go fuck yourself. Hold on. Let me, do, let me play the clip. Let me play the clip. Sorry, guys. Little verbose there. I know we're 20 minutes in. We're, we're now we're now demonetized because I said the F word like 30 times, guys. I had to cook. I'm sorry, guys. I had to cook. Right. I had to cook. But listen, I get worked up. I get worked up. We're, we're, we're yellow now. But please, please smash the like button. Please support this. Please drop this out there because they need to know. They need to know that what they're doing is not right and they can't try to hide behind their bullshit and try to say, oh, yeah, well, you know, clearly this would only come up in court. Uh, no, uh, no, you clearly don't know anything outside of Japan. And even, I'm not even sure if that's true in Japan, by the way, I'm not even sure if that's true in Japan, but I know in America, it's not known Canada. It's not no other places. It's not. So you know what? So there we go. Mm. That was on, um, that was on Reddit. That was on Reddit. That was on Reddit.
Um, <laughs> guys got me worked up. Civvies, Americans, Americanas. <laughs> yes, yes. I, listen, guys, I'm not very nationalistic, but sometimes when it comes to the law, I, I, I get worked up, guys. I'm sorry. I get worked up because I'm passionate about people that think they can abuse people, that then they can take advantage of people, and then they can hide, and then they can, like, like get away with it. Right. And the only thing that's going to happen here, the only thing that's going to happen is them to be shamed in the public eye. Right. That is the best justice is to call out the corrupt and shame them in the public face. And for them to try to do that, because you know what? They have a financial interest. They have a, a set financial interest in the corporation. They are deeply invested in the corporation. And so of course the stock bros want the stock to go up. They've bought the stock. Right. I don't own Niji Sanji stock. I could give less of a shit whether it goes up or down. Right. I own zero Niji Sanji stock, zero any color stock. I'm not doing the option trading, which they just allowed to allow fair pricing. Right. No, we're not doing any of that. We're not doing any of that. It really pisses me off when I see stuff like that because it's allowing corporations to get away with bad behavior. And there's something that I've always been on. My channel's always been about is calling out corporations on their bad behavior. That's why I call it Disney because to me, Disney is, and I know, I know based on my history, there's a lot of things they're doing, particularly in Florida that are illegal. Right. And now when I see Niji Sanji doing this, I just can't put up with it. Can't put up with it. Oh God, we got a bunch of new members off of that. You guys like me ranting against, okay. You guys like me worked up. I get a little worked up. I got the Red Bull in me guys. I got the fight in me now. You saw me chugging the Red Bull. That was to get powered up. That was to get powered up. Thank you. Thank you. CHRTS11, uh, Down Cosmic, Kane Lupus. Welcome, 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 welcome. And Big Leo for 20 says, you got a legal mindset. Thank you. Professional gentleman for twin Canadians is demonetized. You sure about that? Thank you, brother. Yellow for yellow. I'm yellow and you're yellow. We're equal now. We're equals now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then uh, Talent X uh, says the gambler's fallacy plus face plus ignorance equals bullshit with the air of confidence. Yes. Yes. And I think some of them are like, oh, man, if we buy in right now, we can get this shit to pump because it's a low. So they can make a bunch of money if this shit pumps. Right. Because if they buy low and this shit pumps, they're going to make a bunch of money. Some degen trader shit, bro. Degen trader stuff. I was looking into shorting Niji Sanji. By the way, this is not financial advice. Hashtag not financial advice. I was looking into shorting Niji Sanji when selling news of it broke originally, but apparently it's not a thing in Japan. It seemed non-trivial for the average American to do anyways. Yeah, um, options and stock trading are not as easy on foreign exchanges. The American exchange is one of the most free liquid exchanges in the world. If you look at most other markets, they don't have the same sort of liquidity or uh, markets that you have in the U.S. The, op the, the, the range of options, right? I don't mean options specifically. I mean, what you can do in America is, is really expansive. We'll put it that way. Um, and it's the biggest market in the world for a reason, right? For a, for a reason. So yeah, it's uh, apparently though, they're getting into options or allowing options. So we'll see what happens there. Um, Kurosame says you can receive a co contract template or a job offer, not sign it and disclose it. Yeah, it's not signed. Yes, Kurosame. Exactly. This is the this is the U.S. Right? If you don't sign it, it's not valid. Right? So if you don't sign it, you have no duty to do anything at all. You just received it. Right? They gave it to you. This is exactly right. This is why people don't understand. Oh, well, they just give you it. Okay, well, you got it. All right, don't sign it. Okay, what are they going to do? They can't do anything. You didn't sign it. Don Cosmic says, just finished the VOD review of the Niji contract template. And man, great work on it. Hopefully, it'll shed light on people considering work for Corpus. I've already had people work reaching out to me. I've already had people reaching out to me. RM said, clip that base take and spread it on the internet. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Please do. Uh, I'm happy for you guys to clip it. I will never strike any clippers. I love all of you. Appreciate all of you. And I get worked up because I'm passionate about people not being taken advantage of. It's bullshit. Bronze Lump says, hey, my dude, if you have time, look on Zentria the day I became a gecko. Okay. Z Zentria the day I became a gecko. All right. All right. I'm just going to I'm going to pause this because it's five minutes. So. If I have time, I'll play it at the end. Okay. Thank you, bro. Um, I, my, I typically for showing stuff, bronze, I will show stuff. It's under three minutes. I will definitely show it. Five is a little pushing it, bro. But, um, but we'll put it, I'll put it at the end if I can. Rin Daisuke for two. 
Thank you so much. Fate says, as a Red Bull fanatic, I've never seen a bottle like that. Is it Thailand specific Red Bull? Does it taste different? This is um, this is just the uh, the Thai version. This is the way it looks. I mean, hopefully you can see it pretty well. I mean, you just have a bit of Thailand probably. So, but it's how they, it's all the Red Bull bottle. They also have a another brand that has similar markings. But yeah, yeah, just Thai version. Uh, what kind of punishment does uh, does Japan have for bad court behavior? They have a lot of similar behavior, but here's the difference. It's a lot of it's handled in private, Ted. And in Japan, a lot of it is handled like outside the courts. You know, it's it's handled kind of quietly, right? It, they're not as, their systems aren't as voracious. They're not one for one with the West. Japan is not a one for one system that matches the West. It's still very, very Eastern in how things are done. And part of it is, a lot of it is, don't, we talked about defamation, you know, don't say anything bad, right? Well, sorry, no. If you want to play on the fucking stage like a big boy, you need to be open to the fact you're going to be criticized. Sorry. And if you want to stay in Japan and only hire Japanese people, that's fine. If you want to come out and hire internationally, you need to expect at a bare minimum, you're going to be subject to some scrutiny of the press, right? We may not be able to sue. It's, it's expensive. It's care. It's uh, complicated. But um, we can definitely speak up. And the important thing is to speak up, particularly for those that cannot speak up, right? So those that need a voice. So just understand, understand that. Um, one dickhead says Danielle's caffeine fund. Thank you, Danielle. Uh, thank you. My mods too. Appreciate you. Eins913 says, I have a rat. Riku is li liquidating and escaping. Hey, listen, rat, rat, rat. It's all the same thing. Rat from a sinking ship, rat on Reddit, whatever. It's all it's all good, bro. It's all good. I love all the rats. Uh, Copacetic says, compensation for demonization. Worth it. Stay passionate. I will. I will. I it, Honestly, guys, I'm not changing. I've been this way for a while. If people don't like my takes, they can get the fuck out. Um, that, that part is my personal opinion. That's not a legal opinion, but there's some law in that opinion, right? In, 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 in that the law in the U S is different. we have different values. And one of our values is transparency. We don't value hiding stuff to save face. We value transparency. That's very, very, very important for us in the Western culture. So when you're trying to hide something and thinking that's a good thing, that makes you look guilty. And they don't understand that from a PR standpoint that we view people who try to hide stuff as it's sketchy, right? Right. So, Killer Rabbit. Here's my contribution to the pile of midnight <laughs> cutting dong bottles. Yeah, what's up? Thank you so much. Glad thing you know what's up uh, down in Indonesia, right? Uh, King Lugia says, Riku, no honor, shame on him and his ancestor. Yes, big, big shame. All right, so let's get in to our um, let's get into our main vod, for our main topic for today. So we are getting into Sayu. We're getting into Sayu. Um, and Richard, I see your, your super chat. I'm going to get that later. Okay. But I see it. L appreciate you, bro. Um, so with Sayu here, I was asked a couple days ago if I had seen this video and I had, but I do not comment on something without going and getting proper information. Now my channel is never going to be the first one to break it. That's going to be someone like False, someone like Nux, someone like Rev. And those guys do excellent work, by the way. Those guys all do excellent work. I love all their channels. I will happily collaborate with them. I actually sent a False an invite for tonight. If he wants to come on, False can come on. Um, you know, I've collaborated with you. I had Nux on, right? Um, yeah, DN, Depressed Usagi. Uh, Rima may come later. You know, I invited my, my horse girl, my, my favorite horse girl. Um, so I, these guys are all open. I would totally collaborate with Rev. I, I haven't hit him up. I gotta, I guess I gotta message him, but I'll collaborate with everybody. Okay. I'm anybody who's doing good work out there. Kyo too. Kyo, I'd collaborate with Kyo. Like I'm willing to collaborate with everybody. Okay. And there are a lot of people out there doing good work. They're going to cover it. They're going to cover it first. But what I want to do is not to and Lydia too. I see you say mention Lydia. Lydia's great. All these people are great. All these people are great, right? Pakora's monkey. I mean, shit. How can you Fighting beat a monkey? You really can't beat him. You can't really. You can't beat a monkey. You can't beat a monkey. Um, but you know what we've got. Yeah, you'll be there okay. today. Mm. Today, not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Today. Uh, 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 uh. Today. So what we've got today is we've got the double stories, and I wanted to cover this one 
really, really well. I wanted to do a good job and do it justice because for me, Sayu deserves justice and she deserves the truth, right? So what I'm going to get out here has been, it. this is all coming out with her permission and with her consent. So everything that we're going to go over today is going to be uh, stuff that she she we talked about i have talked to her privately about this so this is uh this stuff has come out now i'm going to repeat this a couple times because i want to make this come through she chose i invited her to come on she chose not to come on and, and told me to specifically say that she does not want any drama and she wants to close the book here okay so she wants this to be the ending and so what she what she said is this is this is meant to be the the last chapter the closing and it would she thinks it would be better and i believe her if i do it alone right so i close the book and she doesn't get involved right she's done the book is closed for her i do it not her right and um so i'm going to close this book for her this is it the last one, I was not going to make another video, but then we talked and she gave me information. And because she and I talked, we said, we're doing this tonight. So it's only because we talked. It's not because I'm running out here and doing this just to cover it. In fact, I was perfectly happy and I communicated this to her. I said, if you don't want to do anything else, I don't want to grift off it. I'm not trying to grift off of stuff at people's expense. I never want to be seen that way. I never want to be seen that way. Okay. Yes, of course. I, I, because of you guys' support, I can do what I do. I can cover this. I can do hours of research because you guys are generous, because you guys support me. That allows me to do this instead of taking up other cases or taking up other work or other stuff like that. That helps me do this work. Right. But I'm not trying to milk a topic just to get a couple extra super chats or just to get um, a couple extra views or whatever else, right? Or clout, whatever. No, especially if it's at somebody's expense. However, if I can help somebody and also it's something that everybody is interested in, I'm there for it. And this topic is it. And this topic, as soon as I found out about it, was a huge injustice. And we're going to see this, which is absolutely uh, massive. This is absolutely massive, but I'll, I'll get a couple of these before, uh, we go alpha lol new member. Welcome. 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 And then go, go gusto says, appreciate all you've been doing as someone looking to join the USAF, uh, right now, learning how to look at a contract is much appreciated. Keep up the good work. Hey man, enjoy it. Thank you so much for the dono. Appreciate that. Big love for you. Even if you're in the chair force, man, I still love you. Still appreciate you. I'm joking. I'm messing with you. Uh, appreciate you. And, uh, hope you have the best of luck in your a future career uh, in the Air Force or wherever that is. Um, watch the contract video of the day this morning. Does Japan have an exploitable tax code like the US? I would like to pay for assets and equipment and write tax off. I don't know Japan Japanese tax code. I'm the last person to ask about that. So I have no clue. So not the guy to ask. Sorry, Rich. Appreciate you though. Ask a Japanese tax expert. It ain't me. Uh, Tharja. IBW. Now, what I can do is I do know people and I am involved in consulting with people that want to move here. So if you want to ask me about visas or ask me about relocating and you want to talk about if you're an American stuff on the American side, you can talk to me on my uh, email, goeastgentleman at gmail.com, or you can go to my website, goeastgentleman.com, and you can book a consultation with me and I can talk to you about that. So if you're interested in moving here, I can talk to you about that, but that's that's different. It's a different world. Tharja IBW says, not law related, but there's a new VTuber group coming out called Flork of Cows, a comic artist. One of the VTubers is a group in an iron, is a girl in Iron Lung. Oh, awesome. That sounds cool. Well, I would gladly, you know, if they need any help or want some support or want to just talk about their company, they're welcome to come on. If you could please extend them an invite. I'm happy to have them on. Down the VTuber rabbit hole says, my internship pays for me, so I feel like spending. Also, I made you a brony Sona. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art as well. Some of it, some of it a little lewd. Uh, to to, tho to those of you to those of you drawing me with horses, um, y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I re I really truly I hope I hope you get the help you need. <laughs> Your daily clout bucks, my lord. <laughs>
My lord, my lord, your daily cloud blocks, my lord. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, I can't wait till Rima gets here. She hasn't seen any of this horse stuff yet. She's gonna, she's gonna flip out. Uh, Akaro says, "Remember, read the contract. Yes, always read the contract." You're schooling on law, Dracula flow vibes. One minute, okay. Uh, I have to. Was that a? Is that a clip? I'll try to look it up later. Thanks, bro. I squeeze my wallet a bit to support Florida law, man. Appreciate that, Zom. Appreciate that. Seriously, I do. Appreciate it from everybody. And just your support, liking the video, uh, getting that word out there. That really helps me as well. We're almost at, we're at 3,000 viewers, almost 1,000 likes. So I'd love to get to 2,000 likes. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Kim says, fair enough for you and Sayu, but others, not me, might feel otherwise. I don't think this will end so quietly on the net. No, I... Team, I'm aware that people are going to talk about it, but what I'm going to say is I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything about it after this unless there's something that comes up that Sayu comes to me with or, or you know, whatever. But, like, in terms of this chapter, as far as I'm done, it's done. Now, of course, the Internet's going to talk about it. Of course, the rats are going to go crazy. I know that. They're already going to go crazy with the contract, guys. I already know. I knew that already, right? Now they're going to go crazy with this. They're, it's it's going to be a busy week in the rat sphere. I, I understand. I understand. Zondas is a Sayus fan. I have massive respect for you being so considerate. I was really scared when I saw this video we're going to play here that I was bothering her or causing problems for her. The last thing I want to do is create problems for any of the VTubers and any of them personally, unless they've, they've kind of kicked the hornet's nest or they, they pretty much asked for it. <clears throat> Vox. Um, in which case, you know, when you interject yourself, like for example, the Niji Sanji EN livers did, well, you, you became part of the story. Fate says as someone in the chair force right now, yes, go, go Gusto. You should definitely read everything. Also never trust their recruiter and research everything they can. This is somebody who's in the chair force. They're sitting in the chair. It's very warm right now in that missile bunker. No, Fate, hope you're doing well, man. I uh, appreciate that comment, and uh, thank you for your service. Let's say you rest in peace. She all happy now. And she's very happy. She seems to be doing well. How do you feel about AI art of you? Go right ahead. Knock it out. Uh, Jacob a Andrew says, thank you for all the hard work you do. Hopefully the awareness of you and your wonderful guests uh, do less people will go through what Sayu and Doki went through. I hope so. And that's my goal. My goal is that people will be better off because of my time and coverage of VTuber issues. Right. And I want to thank people like Dragon's Treasure T, like Gator, um, like Fenris, MK Fenris, that like got me into this and convinced me to do this. Much love and respect for those people. Uh, the amount of respect I have for you is great. You're an internet gentleman. I have lurked during Amber Heard stuff. Thank you for covering this niche. Your insight is invaluable. I'm just glad I could help. I mean, what little I can help. I'm no expert. I'm no master. I just wanted to elevate the conversation. And I think we've done that. And we've been able to bring a little bit more of a professional oversight to this. Look, I, I know we can have fun. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't seem so professional when, you know, I'm playing stuff like, uh, like this. Yes, ancient women. Any woman that is physically above the age of 13 is ancient. But I want to live in a world where people can have fun and learn something at the same time. That's the world I want. That's the world I want, right? Zerg, welcome as a new member. Appreciate you. Zwire Zoo says, I was comfy sitting in my chair and listening to live, but then the winged hussars arrived. <laughs> What's up, my Polish brother, Shems Boże over there. Uh, and I uh, hope you're doing well in Poland, wherever you're at. Uh, NZ says... Uh, speaking of how pro corpo and behind closed doors, Japan, while most of Asia is how open is the open the U S is and how is Europe in comparison? Um, there's a saying, which is like, I believe is very true. China replicates America innovates Europe regulates, right? Europe is very open, but they're open with a ton of regulation. So like Europe has too much regulation. That's my personal opinion uh, as a lawyer and as somebody who's worked internationally with a company, I worked with a Fortune 500 company that had branches in Asia, branches in Europe. The regulation in Europe is fucking nuts. It's nuts. It's nuts. It's crazy. I'm just going to say from an American standpoint, we're like, how do you do business here? Like you're so regulated. Like it's, it's crazy. Not, that's my personal opinion. That's not even illegal. That's a personal opinion. Okay. Some people might say that it's, that it's, oh, it's needed to protect people. As an American, it seems too much. It's my personal opinion. Okay. Personal opinion. Uh, Zerg says, 
I'm glad more people uh, are showing the absurdity and how garbage many of the Japanese laws are. I have stories of my own that can make your draw. I'm sure in a lot of people, if you've been like, for example, an ALT, uh, a teacher over there, maybe you did some other job over there, you know how harsh it can be. And look, what I'm trying to say is I love Japan. I do. I love Japan. I really, truly do. I, I, there's mo there's positive things you can find about other countries. I spend time in Japan because I love it. I love the country. I love the nature. I love the people. There's parts of the culture that are amazing. But there's downsides, guys. It's not just the land of like milk and honey and waifus. Okay. Like there's, I, I'm here for the reality of Japan. And I like Japan even with those realities, right? Like even despite those realities, I still like Japan. Leon James Demetrius says, Greetings. I practice all in the EU. I've been watching your streams with great interest. I would like to ask if it's possible to reach out to a Japanese lawyer and ask them to comment on. They won't, Leon. I could, I, I've tried. I have tried. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I said I've tried. But number one, there's usually a language barrier, so we need to hire a translator. And number two, when I explain to them what they want, they don't want to go public on it. They don't want to talk about it. They'll talk to me privately about it. But I mean, what? that's only worth so much because what am I going to say? I talked privately with a Japanese lawyer. Okay, I've done that. I've, I have privately talked with Japanese lawyers, but they're very much afraid of defamation. They're very much afraid of scaring off clients. It's just not going to happen where a, a practicing Japanese lawyer is going to come out and give the same opinions because they don't have the same rights that we have in America. They're going to be, they're going to be really, really worried about what they're saying. And they're going to be worried about their, their, um, their reputation. Right? So honestly, it sucks. It does suck that they, that you don't see, look guys, there's no Japanese law tubers for a reason. Right. And the, okay. So what, maybe there's going to be a Japanese VTuber that says they're a lawyer, but how do you know they're a lawyer? right? Unless they come out and verify themselves. Like it's, it's a problem. That's probably, that's probably why this is never going to happen where there's people that are coming out as Japanese lawyers saying this, it, it sucks, right? The best you get is people that say they've been to Japan or whatever, or they're international businessmen or whatever that may be. But once again, you know, and I'm not, a, once again, not a Japanese lawyer. I'm not a Japanese lawyer. Don't even speak good enough. I can literally barely order food, but I do have enough. I do have enough. Shua Bingoshi this. You know, there you go. It's my, it's my Japanese. Professional gentleman says, as a professional, I hereby submit my endorsement for Andrew's admission to the Internet Gentlemen's Association. My, my. Well, in that case, uh, I, do, I do declare. I do declare. We are doing quite, quite well. Although I hope I hope this Internet Gentlemen's Association isn't just a collection of... Degenerates. You guys are degenerates. I hope it's better than that. I hope it's better than that. Uh, oh, you know, shit's bullshit. I'm stuff. Yeah, no, actually, it's funny. I, um, my friends live in Southern Poland, and I would always say that to my friend's um, mom before we go to like, we go out to get food or whatever else. She laughed because I, it's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I'm a lot of good memories of going to Bidronka and getting like really, really cheap wine and just getting drunk in Poland. I have such a fantastic time. I've been mostly to Southern Poland. So Silesia, Katowice, Krakow, Zakopane. Love Poland. Love the people there. It's always great. It's a great time. Take my hush money. Let me catch up, please. Okay, no problem, no problem. Time to study Japanese law as a hobby. That would be so intense, dude. So intense. Spencer says, for a right-leaning dude, you're making a great unionist, union lawyer. Happy to support all the good faith actors who support human rights and dignity. Look, just because I'm, I'm right-leaning does not mean I hate workers, right? Now, my problems with unions, going into my problems with unions is a whole separate stream, Spencer, and we can debate that, um, but... I still support workers. I mean, this whole this whole notion that people that are on the right hate workers is it's kind of preposterous. Like, I'm very much pro workers and pro uh, pro protection of the individual, right, and your individual rights, because that's very much a thing that is American and very much a thing that is uh, pro constitution, right? So, just so you know. All right, let's get into this. Without further ado, let's get into the beef here. This is the message. Uh, from Sayu. This is her stream. We're going to play all six minutes because you guys need this for context. So listen up here. This is the prelude to her story about what happened with uh, Niji Sanji. So listen up. Pay attention, guys. Time limit of less than a day to sign it. And if I didn't, then they would say, oh, you're terminated and we're not just saying it's on mutual terms. That's what it is. Oh, sorry, I got to okay. You know what? I'm, again, I for those of you guys who are new, I have the worst luck. I am very, very unlucky in life, in general. So, you know, if I wish to die, it will not happen. <laughs> so here I still am. 
I have a very strong immune system. I am very resilient for being out of shape. Finally, a relatable, relatable streamer. Thank you. No, those of you guys who have seen my everyday streams for the past like three years know how unlucky I am at the randomest shit. I will be, I will get very unlucky. The randomest, stupidest stuff. When it comes down to it, bad luck. Every once in a while, good luck. Uh, I mean, look at the, look at the fucking agency I ended up with. <laughs> here we go, guys. So here we go. Here is the, the, the beef of it here. <laughs> oh man. You, I got very lucky to pass an, uh, an epic audition. <laughs> to something that was not good see you look at i was so excited to i remember what happened the day that i got the day that i got the email oh man i remember that day i was having a i was having a house party at the time i just went down the stairs and i looked at everybody i was just like it happened and they didn't know they had no idea but then i like went over to like you know a couple close friends and i was just like i saw this and then i saw this they were like <laughs> oh Man, I remember that day. I remember how excited I was. And well, I now we all know in retrospect, like, now we all know in retrospect, there's like much more to that story, you know? Much more to that story. But it was all, all my, all my hard work was for this. It meant something. Yeah. Well, anyways, uh, are we healed up yet? All right. It's time to fucking, it's time to fucking 275 arrows is not enough. All right. We need more arrows. Uh, let me see here. Thankfully, you got on fire. Nah, yeah, I was basically on my way out. We'll put it that way. Wrong guy. You. <laughs> I I need. I feel like I want to play Power World because like it involves like it involves some questionable themes. But like I I, I have not had time to play Power World. I kind of want to play Power World though. I'm not gonna lie. NGL. I mean, I told. I also I also want to play Final Fantasy, but I don't want to buy a playstation told the story before but it was supposed to be a mutual leaving but then it they told me oh yeah if you want to leave mutually you have to sign this contract this other contract so there we go okay hold on hold on there it is there it is you guys hear that you guys hear that jimmy rewind should i rewind hold on i'm gonna play that one more time i'm gonna rewind this a little bit here Okay, let's play this. To be a mutual leaving, but then it, they told me, oh yeah, if you want to leave mutually, you have to sign this contract, this other contract saying that uh, you won't say, you won't say anything, anything. It was really weird. I still have the contract, by the way. An extra contract, right? So this morning we may have had a template contract, right? That we looked at, that's the basic template. But an additional contract. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. 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 Let's continue. If people, if if like any legal people want to see that one too, I sent that. Hmm. Legal people. Hmm. Who's a legal person? Who's a legal person in the VTube space? Who do we got? Who do we got? That's a legal person who knows VTubers. Are? Hmm. Weird. Weird. Who? Who might? Who might that be? Really, like, who is there? I mean, just uh, just one monkey, right? I mean, that's all we got, right? We just got that, right? Let's continue. That's my lawyer before as well, and it was just like, yeah, pretty much. This is just a silencing contract on top of like your NDA, so it's like I don't really see the point. And I was like, yeah, I don't see the point either, because I remember telling my uh, telling my lawyer, I was just like, uh, I was like, hey, here, look, they sent me a second contract to send to me. Or, no, they sent me a second contract and gave me a time limit of less than a day to sign it. And if I didn't, then they would say, oh, you're terminated and we're not do saying it's on mutual terms. That's what it. That's what they said. Yes. Very, very interesting facts there. Very interesting facts there, Sayu. Very interesting facts. Let's go deeper. And I have screenshots of that too. <laughs> oh, she's got screenshots. She's got screenshots. Does she? Oh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. hmm very curious. Very curious. I, I, I think you need to do more. I think you need to... Yeah, right. Explain this to me like I'm retarded. That won't be that hard. 
Let's continue. <laughs> I I keep receipts of everything just because I don't like telling stories, quote unquote. I don't like the whole he said, she said shit. Um, yeah, it was really, really, it's really, really, really iffy. I think that's was that one of the things I left out of the fucking document. Oopsie. But uh yeah. Time for another live, yeah. Oh boy. So here's what actually happened. It was like, oh yeah, if you want if you if you want us to say like we're leaving on mutual terms you have to sign this other contract by like this time like it was in like five hours or something and i was like no it was three hours it was like three hours whatever it's the screenshot the screenshot has it and then it was like i read the contract and i was like well it's really short but then i sent it to my lawyer and i was like oh they want me to sign this and he was like now nah, there's no there's no point in you signing this i don't think it's worth it for you to sign it so she so big real quick Obviously, I want to say it's one thing. Sayu is super smart. She's a super smart girl, right? Very smart girl. Um, and I'm I'm very impressed by how intelligent she is. And she already had a lawyer, right? So for all those like lawyer up, lawyer up, she's already spoken to. She knows everything, right? The only difference was she kept it back because, well, she just didn't feel the need to bring it up at the time, and it would have stirred the pot. It would create drama, created issues, etc. But, but now, now when we're on we're on vindication train USA, you know, a little bit different, a little bit different story. And then uh, my, I, I, I was like, okay, well, I love you guys here. Uh, I might know a guy. Just don't get him drunk. BMS. <laughs> and Josh says, is there some law tuber named Legally Minded? I don't know who you're looking for, Andrew. Okay, legally minded, you're gonna use that DN thing? Come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you. Also, professional gentleman says, I can neither confirm nor deny the degeneracy status of the Internet Gentlemen's Association nor any of its members' information they're in. Adjust monocle. I don't know. This might might be might be trouble. Let's continue. Well, no, sorry. It was me sending it to my friends, asking them if I should sign it, what they thought. And then I sent it to my lawyer. But because what, what happened was there was no time. There was no time to send it to my lawyer and get them to answer before the time was up. So I was asking friends. And then I was like, can I at least get, can I at least have time to ask my lawyer? And they were like, no, nah, the time limit is here. And I was like, okay, well, shit. And then so I eventually went went to the lawyer and I eventually got to tell him after the time limit, after I'd asked them, I asked them for an extension. I was like, please, can I have an extension to look at it a little bit longer? And then they were like, no. And then when I asked for the three hour extension and the time had reached the time, I was like, well, fuck, I'm doomed anyway. I'm, they're going to release the announcement. And it's just going to say like we didn't mutually leave. And then they said, then when I reached the limit, the time, they said, OK, you were asked for a three year, three hour three hour extension fine here you go and i'm like you're giving it to me now after after we reach the time limit and i haven't signed it is this your de is this how desperate you are to get me to sign it and and that's when i finally gave it to my lawyer and then i just declined it <laughs> so that's the process she went through here so let's let's recap that real quick so they gave it to her they gave her a very short period of time they gave her a minor extension the time ran out they gave her another extension uh and her lawyer looked at it was like this is trash you should not sign this she didn't sign it they told him to pound sand so the the this second contract the silencing contract was never signed it was never signed right so it was unsigned that's very important very important right an unsigned contract unsigned in fact i probably should update update my banner and maybe i'll run that banner go run this banner uh the silencing contract was unsigned okay let's do that let's do that you know we're gonna we're gonna use that one boom right there okay fine there we go there we go sounds the contract was unsigned right so she never signed this contract very very material fact here okay <clears throat> Uh, challenge for the chat, study up on Japanese law, pass the Japanese bar, then get interviewed by legal mindset, glitchless any percent world record. Yes, do it guys. 
challenge for you guys. Pass the Japanese bar and come talk to me. It'll be amazing. We'll be the best tag team duo ever. Fate says, AKA, they set up a time limit to try to rush her into signing something without legal counsel, holding her reputation hostage with it. Yes. Yes. They tried to rush her to sign, which is what we call in America duress. So somebody asked, I saw in the chat, you didn't super chat, but I saw you. Senpai noticed you. Is it legal to rush someone? That is what's called duress. When somebody is put under a very short period of time, they do not have time to, to review it. They're under high pressure, high stakes, duress. It is not okay to put somebody under duress to sign a contract, right? Not in America. Now, once again, I don't know if that's okay in Japan. I don't know if that's cool. I don't know if that's cool with, uh, you know, Izakaya law here, but in America, that's duress, right? It's the same reason why if you're going to get married and it's the day of the wedding and you put the prenup in front of your wife on the day of the wedding or husband or whatever, or whatever they are, right? You know, Apache helicopter, right? You, you make that Apache helicopter sign that prenup on the day of the wedding. That's going to be duress. That's going to be duress because you are forcing them in a, a high pressure situation. It's not going to be enforceable in America. I know some people say it's normal in Asia and that's fine. But once again, we're not dealing with Asia because we're dealing with employment and we're dealing with employment in her case in America, specifically in California. California has other laws that apply here. Remember, remember, we talked about California law a while ago. Remember, California law is very specific. You have to go to the California Labor Board to approve any contract. You, and, and, you know, if, the, if, the, if her contract looked anything like the standard, that would not pass California. And this other agreement certainly wasn't approved by the California Labor Board. So it's not going to pass either because it's an employment agreement. So it would be tossed in the fucking trash, right? Which is the other thing too. With Niji Sanji knows this. They're trying to enter into illegitimate, illegitimate uh, agreements in that are employment agreements in the state of California. And yeah, that's a that's a big issue. It's a big issue. I see you see you guys in the chat. Appreciate you. Um, Fade says, AK, they set a time. Oh yeah, I got one. I want to Russia without legal counsel. Yes, they did that. Uh, Jacob Foxfire says, it's always painful hearing her talk about this. It's like forcing an open wound that was stitched up. But if it's to help everyone with her story, then sadly, she needs to go through this one more time. Jacob, and once again, I want to say this very clearly. This was done with her assent, right? Her assent. Sayu assented to this. She chose not to be here today because she thought it would be better, but she assented to this. But she wants to close the book after today. So after today, if there's nothing else, I'm closing the book, right? Unless she tells me to do anything. I ain't saying shit, right? I'm done after today, right? Unless she tells me otherwise, I'm not going to say anything. Only with her express, explicit permission, okay? So just understand that real quick, right? Now, she hasn't endorsed, she doesn't know everything I'm going to say. I told her just generally what I'm going to say, but not, I didn't give her a full script of tonight. I mean, my streams are unscripted, right? But I know how to protect people. And uh, the information I'm going to show tonight is limited in terms of showing stuff that I think is the most able to show, what which verifies, it verifies the information we need to verify without showing more than what needs to verify. Let me just put it that way. So tonight, what you're going to see is just enough to make it clear that what I'm telling you is true without doing anything like, for example, protecting the VTuber, right? So I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not doxing anybody, right? We're just putting information out there. Um, so the sauce, the sauce is protected, right? Yeah, the sauce is protected. So, and I am very careful. I lean on the side of disclosing less because I want to protect more, right? So just understand that. Lily Screw says, I'm curious why any color is worried about getting sued for defamation in Japan uh, by former talents for releasing their termination announcements with very disparaging remarks about them. Because, because Lily, they're a big company and the, the, the talent is small. They're individuals. Individuals don't have the power to take on big companies. They just, just don't. They don't have the resources. And they'll be destroyed in court by the, they'll be buried in procedure usually. So they just don't do it usually because they're an individual. That's typically why they don't do it. Now, if it gets bad enough, I'm sure they would, right? But it would have to be pretty bad and pretty clear. 
Uh, Tank Silencer says, if you like D's nuts jokes, you can check out Ayunda Ris Risu. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, we'll check that out. Thank you. Thank you. Right, Sorry, that was the order. <laughs> Oh man, sorry. I've been here for ten hours, ten, uh, eleven hours. Give me a break. What the anyway, heck? yeah. So that's what happens. He was and streaming for eleven hours. Like, okay, I'm not gonna sign it because even on their side, on the agency side, they were like, "Oh, I said I, I was like, well, what do I get from signing it?" And they were like, "Oh, we think it would be better for your future." They actually, and uh, the, the screenshot says that too. We think it would be better for your future if. Our, the 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 terminations had mutually left, and I'm like, well, yes, it would be, wouldn't it? Fuck you. Yeah. And that's that's actually what they said. That was what their offer was. They were like, we think it would be better for your future if you said if you like, if 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 it said mutually leaving. I'm like, yes, it would be. Well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah. So I just said fuck it, and I didn't care because I mean, like, that's not worth signing some stupid silencing contract. But I guess maybe it was because everyone gave me shit for outing them anyway. So what mm. the fuck, man? Maybe I should have just shut the fuck up. I don't know. But yeah, no. So I, I turned down the mutually left exclusive. I really, by the way, I really like Sayu and her way of speaking. I, it like really is like something I identify with. You know, like her her use of language is, 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 is on point. Thing for this. And then they still got shit for it. So ah, fuck it. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, my luck is my luck in life. Point being, pretty fucking bad, pretty fucking bad. Okay, you know what? I'm again for those of you guys who are new. I have the worst luck. I am very, very unlucky. Okay, that was a that was the whole thing. So that's just rewinded there. But okay, so now you guys have the background. So that is the background. You now have seen the background. You see what happened there. So let's get into the facts. Let's get into the the details here. Okay. So first. I want to validate the, and I, I've edited this, I've cropped it to protect uh, information um, and uh, to protect anything that could be questionable or anything that could cause more problems than it's worth. So this is not all of the D. So I'm going to first show you the DMs and then we're going to get into the actual agreement, right? So I've got it. Now I am, I have cropped them. She sent me a lot of stuff. I have cropped them and I'm showing certain things which, which allow you guys to see that this is legit. Okay. So it is not made up. It's not bullshit, right? You can go off and figure it out and the internet autism will take care of this. Right. Um, but we've got the DMS. I've also edited out. I cropped out some stuff that my docs in or her or whatever. So that's all protected. So the, here we go with the receipts, right? Um, also, but before I show the receipts, guys, please smash the like button. If you like this content, please share this out on X. Hopefully people watch this video. Um, I'm going to, uh, going to definitely, um, I'm definitely going to do more streams like this where I'm doing deep dives, looking at stuff like that. But I, I just appreciate if you get it out because I think a lot of people may not have seen this. Uh, and I think it's, it's very important to see this. So make sure you're sharing it out and you like this as well. Okay. Here we go, guys. This is DM number, and let me make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. I just make sure I'm doing this right. Before I do this in the right order, okay? So here is DM numero uno, okay? DM numero uno. I'll just show this window here. Here we go. This is from Yasuhiro, right? Who says, hi, Zion. Zion Lanza. Um, thank you for your time today. Please find attached for your reference if you need an English version of the document we have previously sent to you via email. As mentioned during today's call, we would like you to check it, sign it, and send it back to us by 4 p.m. JST, March 10th, in about an hour. Thank you for your consideration. They fucking self-report. They self-report that they want it back in an hour. The only fucking Niji Sanji is this goddamn retarded that they put in their e in their DM here that they want, and let me zoom in, it back in a fucking hour. This is ridiculous. This is the definition of duress, and this would totally be thrown out in an American court. Not only because they didn't get the approval of the labor board, but because they want it back in a goddamn hour. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous preposterous right 
an hour, one hour, one hour. I mean, that's about as dumb. That's about as dumb as a monkey. I'm just saying it's really dumb. So this to me was the first thing where I was like, whoa, whoa, we got an issue, right? Um, and so let me go to the explanation now. So now we're going to go to Zion's response, right? So you can see here and we'll zoom in a little bit, right? So the, the document, we're going to get to the document. We're going to get to the document, but I did, I did clip. Um, you saw in the last one, I had the bot, the top of the document that says the bottom, uh, you know, once again, keeping private information, private, right. Covering it all up here, but. Uh, we've got, we're going to get into that language. Don't you worry, but look at her response here, which is absolutely smart and great. Look at how smart she is. This is, this is great. Like from her, it's, it's fantastic. She's so smart. Uh, Zion says, hi, Yasuhiro. Upon reading this, it sounds basically like the company is saying they will list out your chosen facts, which are still defamation to me in a reasonable discretion on Twitter. However, in Article 4, it appears that this document prevents me from explaining the context under which the chosen facts occurred. Since they may be claimed by your side as words or actions that undermine the social credibility of A. Aside from this, I do need time to read over this and discuss what it means in a full legal sense, fully in a legal sense, meaning she needs to talk to her lawyer. You don't talk to a lawyer in one hour. Lawyers are not McDonald's. You don't order them in 30 minutes or less. Aside, So as asking me to sign this within one hour is too soon. As I do have other commitments to attend to as well, cannot be asked to simply operate this schedule so last minute. I require more time to properly address this. So timeline confirmed, right? Timeline confirmed. Very smart, very professional response. Once again, uh, I am I am very, very, very impressed by her intelligence, right? And by her ability to respond so quickly. Uh, the fact that she responded like that, when I saw that, I'm like, wow, she is the genuinely a really, really smart woman. Um, so I was, I was very, very, very impressed. So I just want to say that just off rip. Uh, now, there were other messages. There were further messages going back and forth. But to avoid any potential questions of whether what I'm showing is legal for me to show or not, and there's some talk of legal arguments, I'm not going to show any of the rest of it. I'm just going to explain what the rest of it is. The rest of it was essentially her asking for more time. They said no. Then they end up giving her time, right? Then the time runs out, and then she declines anyways, right? Just like she said in her video. So she, I confirmed by reading the DMs. I confirm what she said in the video is true. I confirm what was said in the video was true. So, uh, so her take in the video, I have the receipts. I'm not going to tell them anybody. I'm not going to get them from me. You know, I, I've read it. It's true. Confirmed it. hundred percent confirmed. What shows that? Her timeline is hundred percent accurate. Read the DMs hundred percent accurate. So it's spot on the dot. Okay. Uh, before we get to this, let me get these super chats. 38K in chat and only 1.2K likes. You got to hit like, yes. We're not even at the contract yet. We got 4,000 in the chat. Smash the like button, guys. Smash it. Smash it, guys, if you like this, like this type of content. I mean, I don't think we're ever going to get double daily bombshells, like 24 hours with this many bombshells. I don't think it's going to happen for a while. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a minute before we get there. Thank you for on here for the $5 super sticker. Appreciate that. Uh, Mitchy Laudy says, it would be better for your future. It's probably another translation issue. What they meant is, if we don't sign immediately, we will assassinate your character, get your livers, drag you through the mud. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, essentially, they're, you're free. What They feel free to commit defamation against you so they can defame you, but you can't say anything in your defense. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. You're not allowed to defend yourself, but they're allowed to defame you. That's that to me is fucked up. It's, it's messed up, real messed up. Brian Matheny became a member. Welcome as a member. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Um, Yagoshiro Igarashi, head of DG Overseas Management. <laughs> uh, LCPL anime guy. What's up, brother? 
Uh, a military contract is fully explained by recruiters at MEP's personnel throughout the recruiting process and can be stopped at any time. How is the military on top compared to all these countries? I know. Typically, the military is literally the worst. But in this case, they got their shit together by comparison. Okay. Okay. So here we go with the agreement, right? Here we go with the agreement. So now we're going to get into the agreement. So this is a cropped version of the agreement to protect, obviously, Sayu, protect from any potential doxing or anything else like that, right? Um, and uh, it includes the, the pertinent provisions. It includes all the provisions. This does not leave out any provisions. This includes all the material provisions, but I did crop it to protect identities. Um, but I did confirm the document and the veracity of the document. I've seen the whole document. So the PII, all the stuff, that's all, that's all confirmed. But obviously this belongs to her, right? This was something related to her that Niji Sanji sent. Once again, read the banner. This contract was unsigned. This was never signed. So I know people are going to freak out and they're going to read, we're going to read something. I know people are going to get really weird about it, right? But we are not, we are. 100% unsigned here. So this was not signed. Okay. Just, under, just understand. Just understand. Right. Um, all right. So let's get into it. Uh, here we go with the contract. Uh, this is the contract, the silencing contract of uh, Zion Lanza. Here we go. Termination of the agreement. Notwithstanding the provisions provided in Article 22, Paragraph 1 of the agreement, Party A and Party B agreed the agreement shall terminate March 10. So her date of her, uh, the date of her employment contract will terminate. Article 28 of the agreement shall survive the termination, talking about her baseline employment agreement. Uh, public announcement, Article 2, public announcement of the termination of the agreement. Party A and Party B agree to publicly announce externally on the corporate website anycolor.co.jp or Twitter or other social media accounts maintained by Party A that this agreement has been terminated pursuant to paragraph one of the preceding article and the circumstances leading to the termination in a text prepared in Party A's reasonable discretion. So remember, once again, just like before, Party A is 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 uh, any color, and Party B is the liver, right? Is the liver. So, in this case, what they want to do is they want to dictate how it goes and what comes out, and they want to give the reasons why she's terminated. They wanted to say, they wanted to say, she was terminated for being these things for doing all these bad things they were still gonna say that they were never gonna not say that this doesn't give her shit they were already gonna put this out they were already gonna put out a termination notice on twitter this just is like oh we're gonna announce that it was we're now gonna announce that it was mutual i guess but what that doesn't change much at all they're still going to essentially defame her. And that's what she said. That's why Sayu was like, what? No. Fuck you. Right? Like, no, you're still going to, like, what's the point here? What's the point? And then look at article number three and article number four. Watch this. Okay? So we've got confidentiality. And now this is very important, right? Remember. This is not signed. This is not signed. Okay? It's not signed. Party A and Party B shall not divulge or disclose to any third party the fact they've entered into this agreement, the reasons for entering this agreement, the contents of the discussions, the content of any provisions of this agreement, or any related matters, as well as any information concerning the virtual livers belonging to Party A that comes to Party B's knowledge. So literally, literally, she is not allowed to talk about the fact that she entered in that agreement, the content of the discussions, the content provisions of the agreement, any related matters, so anything, or any information, even if, once again, if Vox gets caught, 
Vox and Alira get caught in a cocaine party in Medellin. Complete hypothetical, right? Complete hypothetical. They can't do anything about it. She can't say anything about it. Even though it has nothing to do with this, she can't say anything about it. Are you kidding me? It's confidentiality, right? Of course, once again, this was not signed. This was not signed. So, Rut Row SpaghettiOs, maybe if you gave more than an hour, it would have been signed. But it was not. This whole stream is confidential, by the way, guys. The stream is confidential. Only 4,317 people can see this because those are the people in the stream right now. Everybody else has to smash the like button and perhaps clip the video. <laughs> All right. Uh, hold on. Let me get this here before I go any further. Cocaine Sanji. <laughs> oh, guys, 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 the guys. Generates. You guys are the dinner weights. Appreciate you. Niji went full Darth Vader. I'm altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. I've seen contracts from Lockheed Martin. Uh, so Supernova Bombastic. I've seen contracts from Lockheed Martin back in 1980 that were more reasonable. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, my God. Lenmar says, hey, Andrew, are you saying that the U.S. only rich get justice here in France? All the fees will be covered by either civil risk insurance or the state if we can't afford it. So I definitely sue their ass off. Oh, that's awesome. Well, that's good. I didn't know that, Lenmar. I had no idea. That's awesome. Uh, not the No, it's not true that only the rich get justice. However, there is a bias towards resources versus no resources. There, the little guy occasionally wins. But there is a money issue when you're going up against a corporation. I'm just being honest, right? There is a money issue. I've seen the little guy win. It happens. But yes, there's usually a money issue. Mario Brandon, LTL, says something that crossed my mind. If she signed that second contract, what could Niji do to her if she talks about all the things happening internally like she did on her document? The contract doesn't look enforceable. This is not enforceable from what I would see in California where she's at. Right, because once again, it doesn't it doesn't fall into the requirements of the California Labor Board. Right, it doesn't uh, fall into other labor requirements. It also deals with this confidentiality clause. Right, so California has a law has a law that's been passed where if if you are in a situation that deals with uh, unlawful events, criminality, potential criminality, harassment, whether that's racial, sexual, whatever, bullying, hostile work in place, you can. Uh, you can go and talk about that. You can breach any NDA or confidentiality as it relates to any impermissible behavior. So uh, this is, would probably not hold up under her circumstances based on just the, the facts of this, right? So uh, yeah, there's a lot that you could probably wipe your ass with this confidentiality in Florida. Once again, none of this was approved in California. So, and Niji Sanji, you know, is writing this on, on you know, with $7, 40 cent lawyers. So, you know, there's that mario brandon says uh oh no i got the one already uh von cobra night hero von cobra what's up bro good to see you if the statement was attached and agreed to it would be possibly reasonable but this is ridiculous yes yes it they would it's they're just asking her to agree to what they do in their own discretion bro bro uh Master Chief, Shiho Chief says, wasn't Article 28 the surviving clause that survived over half the provisions of the older contractor? But I just remember, must remember you, you're remembering correctly. Assuming her contract is, is similar to the template, uh, that would be the right answer. Just Zerk says, I don't think I've ever seen a silencing contract designed to supplement an already in use NDA, regardless of the ability to enforce said NDA. Just Zerk, it's probably because they know the, the, the whatever they had in the original agreement wouldn't cover this. They knew that. They knew that. They fucked up, right? They fucked up. Uh, even if it does, which by the way, you know, if it was the form contract, we covered the form contract. The form contract, if it was similar, if, if, we don't know, I'm making a huge fucking assumption here, right? If it's similar, if, if, then I think the form contract wouldn't be enforceable. Because it probably wasn't approved by California, probably doesn't. It doesn't definitely doesn't comply to labor law. It's fucking unconscionable as shit in the United States. So, um, yeah, there'd be a lot of issues. There'd be a lot of issues. Uh, does Forma Par Paris exist in Japan? I have no idea, no clue. 
Oh, Sheena, what's up, bro? I showed your video in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you. It seems that Niji Sanji hired Joe Pesci as her lawyer after convincing to act in My Cousin Vinny. No, no, no. They didn't hire Joe Pesci. They just hired a... monkey. You know, that's it. That's it. I appreciate those, Sheena. All right, let's continue with number four here. Prohibition of slanderous and defamatory acts. After the execution of the MOU, neither party A nor party B shall slander or defame the other party. Now, that's all right. But look at this here. Look at this here right here. This second, number two, is the one that's really fucked up. The slanderous and defamatory acts stipulated in the preceding paragraph shall include any act with Party B, which is the liver, which agrees with or encourages word or actions that undermine the social credibility of party A and virtual livers who belong to party A from third parties. Ladies and gentlemen, this means if she liked a fucking tweet, if she liked a tweet, she would be slandering and defaming them. Once again, remember, this was not signed. This was not signed. This was not signed. Let's say it again. But this is nuts. Nuts. That you're considering it slander to like, pretty much to like a tweet, to encourage. What the fuck is encourage mean? What does that mean? Encourage. What is that? Or agree with? You agree with someone's opinion? Fuck you. I mean, I'm sorry, but at this point, Niji Sanji, I'm just like... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you! Fuck you! Because at this point, you know, look, I get that not everybody cares about freedom of speech as much as, as we do in America, but this is literally complete silence, complete choking you out, and not just that, but you've got to actually not say anything about any of their livers. Any of them right? Any of them. Any of those livers. So all of those virtual livers, every, every, everyone in Egypt sound, you can't say anything about. What? What? No. No. Welcome to America. We got, we got freedom of speech here. Like, sorry, sorry, Japan. I know, I know you're trying to make that defamation to talk about people, but it's not. It's not. It's bullshit. Amazing. Assuming Sayu signed something similar to the first contract, can any color go after if she steps foot in Japan? Uh, probably not. I mean, it would be hard for them to do that because remember, you have to serve somebody and like trying to serve somebody who's a tourist is very, very hard because they have no legal residence. So like service of process is going to be really difficult. Like it, it's, it would be expensive. It would be so expensive for Japan to even try. Right. And it wouldn't be worth it because I'll tell you what, if Japan tries to do shit on this, dude, if Niji Sanji, if Niji Sanji so much as gets a ball tickle, okay, I will be so up there. I mean, we will be covering this so closely. Okay, the PR loss, the PRL for them will be massive. And, and, and by the way, everyone will cover this. Everyone will cover this. You know that the amount of L they will take on this will be, and it'll be an international incident. It'll be an international incident. And I guarantee you, they try to do this shit. I'm going on every goddamn podcast in America, every podcast in America to talk about this and to make sure they lose as much face as possible. That would be ridiculous. If they try this shit, I'm going to throw down on this one. This one, they try this shit, they're done. It's, it's RIP Niji Sanji, right? The gloves are off. It would be international news. Once again, what I say, somebody said in the chat, I saw you guys pay attention, taking notes. You don't want to be Goliath going after David. Thank you. You guys paid attention. I see that. I see that. They're going to be literally the international corporation picking on a little individual streamer. They're going to get wrecked. They're going to get destroyed. The PR for them will be an international PRL. It will be a hell. It will be their Vietnam. I'm American, right? So I will say they'll be their Vietnam. Although I actually like Vietnam. I, I'm a big fan of Vietnam. But you get what I'm saying. It's an expression. So it'll be their Afghanistan or whatever, right? Quagmire, right? They'll, they'll, they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're not going to have a good time, okay? They're not going to have a good time. 
So yeah, it'll be it'll be nuts, and everybody will cover it. False will cover it. Nux will cover it. Everybody, everybody in the sphere will cover it. You think this is bad? No, nah, it's going to be much worse, much 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 worse. Uh, real quick, I need to cover a rumble rant because somebody is leaving, so I want to get their rumble rant because I I like my rumble people, and I do. Senpai notices them. Uh, so this is from Davlis, who says, "Gotta go, but thanks for all your work on this, Andrew. It's been tremendously illuminating and enjoyable. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, Davlis, and appreciate all those people on Rumble. We got 67 people over there on Rumble. I appreciate y'all and appreciate uh, Rumble standing for free speech. So I do appreciate everybody that joins me over there on that side. Right? Nick Cruz says, "Let's make some fucking international news, eh? Hey, we may just do it, baby. We may just do it. And we're not done, by the way. We have two more provisions to read." Uh, on this agreement, two more provisions. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. AOD Dark Wolf, new member, welcome. What about the California Labor Board going after them? I'm sure that Sayu has talked to her attorney about about it. Let me put it this way: if she hasn't taken an action, she's extremely smart. I think she's probably talked with her lawyer in California about the pros and cons. So clearly, she doesn't want to go through with whatever it is, right? So. Just so you know, just so you know, that's what's up there, right? It's not worth the cost. I like that. Doki is Vietnam. Sayu is Waterloo. Oh, no, 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 no. It would be their Tsushima, right? Except for they're Russian this time. And Sayu is, uh, Sayu is the Japanese Navy. The other way around. Midway, if you will. Oh, Midway. It'll be their Midway. We'll put it that way. That'll be something they can kind of identify with a little bit better, right? A little, little midway action, right? You know, just be like, instead of instead of fighter bombers, it's just like VTube group coverage, you know? Like you got bunny boys and pony boys dropping bombs left and right. You know, horse people generally. The Pony Express is being run on them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is that a good comparison? I think you guys like that. All right, uh, let's get this here. Fate says, this is a reminder to chat now. We're all seeing how bad this contract is. There's no reason you should be going into a chat with this and ruining your day. Don't be respectful with a wish. Yes, she wanted to move on. She did not want to be here. She wanted me to do this so we can close the book on it, right? And close the drama book on it. So this is why I am doing it. To be very, very clear, to say it again, I'm doing it with consent, but also doing it to close the book because she does not want the drama and she wants to end it here. So this does kind of put a capstone on it and it also kind of vindicates what was said before. Oh shit, Scarl had liked the Kurosanji comment. Shiny SB says, Article 4 explains a lot of actions or inactions of former Niji talent. See, is it all adding up, guys? Is it all adding up now? You're wondering why they don't say anything, right? Oh, now we all know. Now we all know, don't we? Andres Villagra says, under this section four, she's uh, even if she said something that is true, but it hurts the reputation, was this mean automatically becomes slander, even though it's factual? Yes, because she's agreed that it's slander. She's consented to the fact that it's slander. So what they're trying to do, especially under Japanese law, is get her to stipulate to that. So under at least Japanese law, she might be guilty. But the problem is, she's I mean, she's an American, not, not in Japan. So it's just not going to... Um, it's not going to fly like that argument is not going to fly rule one don't clog the pipes paraphrased what clog the pipes disgusting Al win says i'm vietnamese and i approve of that joke carry on thank you thank you thank you i was I, I was just keeping it i was keeping it tame right i wasn't trying to go all ho chi Minh on this on this uh on these references here uh, but no, listen, listen, uh, listen, I'm a student of history. I love history. And, and what, what I can say is I appreciate, you know, all countries around the world, especially here in, in Southeast Asia. A lot of countries have very complicated and, 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 and complex histories. It's not black and white. And I very much appreciate that and appreciate the nuance to it. Let me say, and I, I understand the nuance. Like, even if I make a joke or something, it's not out of ignorance. It's out of actually, I, I understand the nuance. And I understand that a lot of times it's much more complicated than we've gotten in the storybooks. And the story is far more nuanced than just the meme, right? But that said, still a good joke. Uh, get the IRS involved too, if they do that. Yes, they could. Uh, people went to Sayu stream, but her mods are doing good. Yeah, I don't want people doing that because there's no, she already knows. So why would you tell her, right? Are you telling me that other livers leaving Kurosanji may have signed this or something similar contract? It's possible. We don't know. It's possible. I don't know. Raisin Dragori, I can't confirm this, but 
I can't confirm it's not true. So I can confirm this is true, but I can't confirm it's not true. Maybe add a disclaimer to the banner. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, so wait, what's a disclaimer? So disclaimer, additional disclaimer. Let's edit this real quick. Let's edit this real quick. So what do you got to add? Uh, sounds like unsigned. Um, uh, this, oh wait, no, shoot. So I'll put like this applies only to Sayu, um, and, uh, I don't know about other livers. What else? Uh, applies to Sayu. It's unsigned. Let's see. Uh, maybe to, not a Japanese lawyer. Oh yeah. And don't bother Sayu. Sorry. Don't bother Sayu. Thank you. I'll add that to the banner. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's put the, uh, this was shown with her consent. She wishes to end this uh, with this stream. Do not bother Sayu. Okay, there we go. Okay, banner on the bottom. Thank you guys for that. There you go. Show me the consent. She wishes to end, the stream, to end this with the stream. Yes, do not bother her. Most important is do not bother her, right? Do not bother her. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Okay. Uh, all right. To clarify, rule one is don't restrict the free flow of information. Rule two is don't be Goliath. And so don't cloud the pipes. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, there, there's a lot in there. There's a lot in there. Don't punch down. Yeah. 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 Um, Von Cobra says, small two-pronged argument, Andrew. For your VTuber model, go overboard with expression toggles. Chat, think of how he can use the clips. He'll be as good as Hyena with expressions they want i have no idea i guess i have to look at him oh henya sorry henya henya the 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 kettle the kettle god uh dragon draganto roll says you do not want to be the one that made fox news explain what vtubers are to grandmas all over the u.s because you're stifling american free speech exactly exactly you don't want people in america like little old granny in arkansas who's going to understand vtubers and also understand that you're picking on a poor woman right an American, uh, uh, like a hardworking American, and you're out here, hyena, henya, henya, henya. Sorry, sorry, but yeah, you don't want to be the one who's doing the bad thing. Henya, like the hyena. Okay, God, that's gonna be the meme for me. The hyena. Okay, let me just play it. Let me just play it. I gotta do. Maybe it. I have a chance. <laughs> There we go. There we go, guys. In the chat. In the chat. Based base kettle goddess. Okay. Base kettle goddess. Hyena Mayoshi. <laughs> oh, the hyena. Oh, I'm definitely legally minded with that. I'm definitely that was a definitely a legally minded one today. That was that was pretty bad. It was pretty bad, guys. Um, all right, all right, all right. So uh, let me get this last one. Justin Y says, one thing I can never understand about Japanese defamation law is how facts can still be considered slander because it damages their public image. And the thing is, unless it is in the public interest, you cannot damage someone's public image. Their public image, their outside image is very, very important. Uh, I'm giving a very summary version. I know people in the comments have given deep explanations of face and public image and private image. Uh, there's more to it. I'm really summarizing here, but this is the biggest difference between Japan and the U S and understand that law is a reflection of culture. So that's a big, big, big thing, right? Okay. Let's get into article five. Shall we article five? There's more compensation for damages. Okay. Compensation for damage. It's more. In the event that either party violates any provision of this agreement, uh, party A and B shall indemnify. Indemnify means you cover all of their expenses and any and all damages, including not only direct and ordinary damages, but lost profits, loss of business opportunities, business interruption, indirect damages. So they're trying to come for all of these damages that would never be upheld against them. So they're trying to scare them. They're trying to say, if we take a hit in business, we're coming for you. I'm sorry, Niji. Once again, I, I'm coming up with it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
it, it, this is not enforced. This is ridiculous. Like trying to come for all these damages, right? Because, okay, you're, you're an indemnifying. No, 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 not going to happen. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. It's going to be tough to enforce that. Yes, it technically goes both ways, right? But who's going to have a business loss, right? And by the way, who are all the duties on? All of the duties are put really on party B. Look, party B is the one, right? What, what is party A doing? Where is party A promising not to do that? You know what this should say? Article 4, if they wanted to make Article 4 fair, what they would have done is they would have said Article Party A and Party B. So Party A and Party B shall not talk bad about each other. If they were trying to be fair, they would have made this promise a mutual promise. It's not a mutual promise. It's a one-sided promise. This is a one-sided promise. It's bullshit. Rules for thee, not for me. They're not willing to stand by it. This is why, yes, it's this clause, Article 5 is equal, but it's about the agreement, which is all one-sided. Niji, have you not seen a, 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 a trend with Niji Sanji? They're one-sided, and they literally gave an hour. I'm going to pull up that after we're done. I'll pull it up again so you guys can confirm. She had one hour on this. Liquidation clause. Party A and Party B mutually, mutually confirm there are no claims or obligations other than those set forth in the agreement between party A and party B with respect to the subject matter hereof and confirm they will not make any claim, including a claim disputing the validity of the termination of this MOU. So saying that if you sign this, you cannot dispute it. So once you sign it, you cannot dispute it. You cannot issue a demand, file any lawsuit, or other dispute resolution procedure, civil or criminal, against the other party. They want them to indemnify they're not going to sue them for criminal violations, for civil violations, for labor violations, making demands, making lawsuits. Guess what? That shit isn't going to hold up. If something is illegal, it's illegal. You can wipe your ass with this liquidation clause in America. You can't violate the law and then put in a clause and say, hey, it's okay that we, if we do something criminal, if we are criminals, we can't be prosecuted. Guess what? Once again, I'm going to say it from the chesticles, from the nesticles. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Not enforceable at all. This is ridiculous. This is, this is preposterous. Saying that she cannot file a lawsuit? No. <laughs> no. No. And once again, mind you guys, let's go back here for a second because I want to show this again. Mind you, once again, this is their employee, right? This is their employee right here, which said she had one hour, right? There's her employee right there. One hour to sign this. One hour to look at this. One hour to approve this. Are you kidding me? That in and of itself is ridiculous and explo exploitative. Ex whether it's legal or not legal, it's exploiting somebody. It's putting them under duress. It's putting them under pressure. It's trying to get them to review it without a lawyer. Ridiculous. Uh, Kluna says, if this becomes the international incident, it'll be interesting to see what it does. The international laws would be a bit behind when it comes to overseas remote work. Yeah, it would make overseas work come up, but I don't want it. I, Sayu doesn't want it. Nobody wants it. And Niji Sanji doesn't want this smoke. They don't want this smoke. They don't want this smoke. I'll tell you right now, they do not want this smoke. This is not something, and I'm not trying to talk big here or whatever. It's not about me. It's about the PR that would come for this. They're, they're at a time where they got to take the fucking L, okay? This is when they got to take the L. If they if they were to try to cause issues here or stir, it's going to come back like freaking Obi-Wan. Liam Week says, wait, it doesn't say she can't file a license against him for the contract. It says she can't sue for anything, period. Yes, Liam. Liam, let me go back to that. 
You are exactly right. You are exactly right. Let me show it to you. You're exactly right. Pay attention. And we know somebody's doing their homework here, okay? I'm going to take your your uh, your super chat down here for a second so people can see. You cannot file any lawsuit or make any claim or dispute resolution procedure, civil or criminal, against the other party for anything. For anything. Even if it was something completely unrelated. You don't, some people say, can you sue for not being able to sue? No, you just sue them. And and, and then they'll try to stop you. And if they, if, if Riku Yacht Boy walks into an American court and is like, excuse me, Judge Summer, I have a, I, we, we have a, we have a liquidation clause. It is, it, is, it, it prevents this from happening. The American judge is going to laugh them out of court. and point them to the nearest plane home because that shit does not fly in America. But our liquidation goes. Sorry. Sorry. No. That shit does not fly. Sorry, Riku. No matter how many times you bow, that shit does not fly, yacht boy. Just saying. And that's from me. That's from me. Fighting uh, monkey. <laughs> Appreciate y'all guys. Like the video. Hope you guys like the video. Share it out. Let people know about it. Let people know about this news. Let people know about this injustice. Hopefully we can bring a close to this chapter. It should be absolutely uh, fantastic, right? It should be absolutely fantastic. Um, wait, to, wait. Does that, okay, yeah. Got that? Yes, it's true. Got that from Liam. Rimflick says the entire time limit was a push was to push her because they knew she'd never get a response back from the lawyer. Absolute shark. Yes. It's it is it is dirty, it is nasty, and I know what they're doing. Other lawyers do it too, by the way. Lawyers put time limits on each other all the time. It's bullshit. It's to put people under duress. It's to put the other side under duress. It's BS. It's BS. Right? Uh, you know, Oni says, is it normal for contracts to have a time limit for signing? It would be understandable to ask for a time limit. There's a time limit, but not one hour. It's okay if you said 48 hours or, or two days or three days, but not, not one hour. Even 24 hours might be reasonable, but not one hour. Now, mind you, the, the, the agreement was not long. It was only these, these five articles, six articles, six articles, right? Um, but you still need a lawyer to look at it. Even though it's short, that doesn't mean it's not important for a lawyer to look at it. And a lawyer's not looking at it in one hour. Silbury says, my beef with overzealous anti-regulators is they blame the regulators, not the regulated. It's never a war crime the first time. Yep. It's true. It's true. I, I'm for a balance. I mean, look, I think we have too much in a lot of places, but I understand some is necessary, but it needs to be, it needs to genuinely be crafted to protect people and not merely as a way to extort business, right? If it's used as an instrument of graph or even worse, if it's used to enforce monopolies, which oftentimes regulation is used to enforce monopolies, it's used to kill small business, right? If it's used in that way, I don't support it. If it's used to actually protect people, I, am, I would be for it. But once again, this is a case-by-case -case basis. I, I'm not a guy who's like, one way or another on on a piece of regulation the problem is there's a lot of regulation that that just it's it's there to protect something dumb or protect an interest or whatever right and it's like okay at a certain point we need to examine do we need to do this right uh Michi Lali says takes over one hour just to comprehend this bullshit yeah we're on a one hour and 44 minute stream this stream this stream right now is longer than she was given to review this. Mizuharu says, don't forget that as management, they do not take, they do take students to manage their livers, to manage their responsibility for the stuff. By the way, love from Italy. Ah, but John, no, but John, no. And, and Mizu, Mizuharu, I think you understand from when I, when I think of, when I think of uh, Niji Sanji, I think, vaffanculo, desti di caso. You know, I love using the hands in the in the Italian when you curse. It's great. Um, 
but yeah, learning to curse in any language is awesome. Uh, Elwin says, Yeah, boy, I disowned my shareholders. Let's insert seppuku here. Yeah, yeah, that, that's yeah. Uh, Clunas says, I want to clarify, I don't want either just curiosity to get the better. Me, no, I, I get it, I get it. Look, I'm pro this ending because that's what Sayu wants. I want it to end too. This is just getting her story out, and this time she gets the last laugh, right? <laughs> I love it. Hollow Live Clip says, I'm Italian, and your pronunciation is almost perfect. Uh, I have had some run ins with Italian girls. We'll just say it that way. I will say it that way. Uh, the pork, the pork, <laughs> the hand. <laughs> the hand is important. The hand is quintessential, okay? Right? The hand is quintessential. Uh, Mat uh, Metu uh, 2010 <laughs> says, can I assume that many honest people agree and adhere to contracts that would not hold up in court out of ignorance? Yes. Yes, they do. That's why I want to educate people that if there's something that's not, that they think is not enforceable, they should privately go to an attorney. An attorney has a attorney client privilege. They can review it privately and tell you whether it is really enforceable or not. Right. And tell you privately whether it's really enforceable or not. Very, very, very important. Because that's why honest people should go check it out with their local lawyer, with a local lawyer, you know. Mind you, Niji's for $4.99. Mind you, Niji Sanji EN management needs over 36 hours to prove a cover. Oh, we're going to get to that. So we're about to cover. So after we stop with this one, we are going to cover, uh, we're going to end up covering um, the off Kai. Because I I've been asked to cover that, a lot of people have wanted me to cover that. So we're going to cover the Off Kai Expo. So I want to go through that after this. I know that most people were here for for Sayu, and that's the obviously the main course. But we're going to stick around for that, um, and get that after this. So guys, if you like that, if you want to stick around for that, it should be fun. Because uh, that deals a lot with Niji Sanji taking forever to approve shit. So stick around, stick around for that as well. Um, let's all help Sayu finally get a silver play button that she actually can keep by subscribing to her YouTube channel. Yes, absolutely. Let me promote that right now. Uh, Sayu, Sayu's. yeah, I can get her right now. Let's see on, uh, on the YouTube, it's the YouTube. And I know she's live right now. So I support everybody after we finish here and I'm not going to, this is not going to be a long stream. After we finish here, how about all of you guys go over there and send some love? In fact, you know what I'm going to do? Go over here and subscribe to her, but I'm going to set it up after this to raid her. So when I end this stream, everybody will be sent to her. So uh, to give her much love and much support here uh, after this. So I'll set up that. I'll set up that redirect, but definitely go over there, support her, get her to hundred K. If you guys feel bad, like if you guys are trying to, you know, give it to Niji Sanji, stick it to Niji Sanji. The best way to do is by positivity and by support. It's not through negativity, right? Obviously look me and us exposing their, uh, bad issues is righteous indignation. I think it's a good thing, but at the same time, the, the best way to really beat people is by ultimately, um, is by ultimately just going out and just winning, just, just succeeding in spite of their bullshit, right? In spite of their bullshit. Let's see. Hold on. I gotta, gotta see if I can do this. Yes. There we go. Wait, what? Can I not redirect her? Oh no, that sucks. Okay. Hold on. Let me try it. Let me try this. I guess she doesn't have it set up so people can redirect. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, uh, I will uh, drop her link. I will drop her link after this um, because I cannot, I cannot directly do to her. But yeah, that being said, uh, go follow her as well. Uh, Scarlet may be forced to sign something similar to this. Well, I hope not. But honestly, I think these are probably all standard for Niji Sanji. I think these are the standard move for Niji Sanji. Yeah, I need permission. I, I think I forgot. It'll be a manual raid. Um, Rin Daisuke says, even with my former manager, um, ch -ch -ch -ch, uh, similar rules had to leave my past self where they were better legal known than Riku has been since February. 
even with my former manager, similar rules, how to leave my past self. They were better legal known than Rico. Yeah, no, definitely better than Niji Sanji. I mean, it's not hard to be better than Niji Sanji. That's like the lowest bar ever. Andrew, off topic, you're going to review the whole white papers that Pelts put out on Monday. Anytime in the future. Sure, I'm going to do a standalone video on that. I haven't had time. I've been obviously on this VTuber train. So I've been covering that, but don't I haven't forgotten about Disney stuff. I'm just literally, I'm re doing so much research. I cannot like deviate. Um, Don Tazo says, can a government uh, ex-US body itself take actions versus labor and contract concerns, issues versus uh, Riku and Niji, then add entities to blacklist persona non grata? It's, it's difficult, right? And their remedies are limited because the assets of Niji are in Japan. So it's hard to blacklist people when they're working with individual contractors because they're just trying to skirt the state and national laws. That's why we need regulation. That's why we need other issues. Raid battle cry. Sayu love raid. I like it. I like it. Sticking your law, sticking out your law for your DN. You're so Nux Rev. You're so Rima uh, Rima Tax. I just want to be your Lydia. <laughs> I love it. I love it. To live well is the best revenge. Thank you. Very well put. Very well put. That's I, I truly believe in that, by the way. I don't try to sit there and stick the knife in. I just try to do better. Beat them, right? In improvement, right? In, in building yourself. Kent says, if there's time, please check out the clip. Asma Gold made a mistake. It's oddly wholesome VTuber related clip. I will try to do that. I think I've seen this one. Asma Gold made a mistake. Okay. Uh, okay. I will do that if I have time at the end. Okay. Uh, you should look up Southern Italians arguing to get a genuine experience of what my days are like on a good day. Okay. I'll watch that off screen. Okay. Southern Italians arguing. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. I think I see it. Uh, Industrious Bear says, Andrew, you said earlier that shit doesn't fly. I beg to differ. Shit does fly. In fact, it's just the airframe's integrity is unstable. Is it a Boeing? Ah, uh, Boeing. Sorry. A drunken Finn says, remember my message about cannibal neighbors and giving them food? Yeah, the stuff they eat, the food you give them, because you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Von Cobra said, regulations are all bad. Start with the corporate form. If the executive's owners got jailed when their business has ended, people... Uh, regulation is unneeded. Yeah, and what we need is a reform of the system so that people can bring claims easier, right? So not the government bringing it, but allowing individuals, empowering individuals to bring claims easier with less procedure and less cost. It needs to, the costs need to be reduced. Silbury says, one hour to sign a gag, one year to approve in-house IP. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dar Tree says it might be a precaution considering how far Niji stands have gone. I, I, I think I do a lot of precautionary measures with Niji stands. I think I'm pretty, I think I'm pretty precautionary. I think I'm pretty precautionary. I think I'm pretty good. Typically. Um, all right. So let's get into off Kai. We are done with Sayu for now until we raid her later. Uh, but let's get into off Kai and we're going to read through this. Uh, and uh, and really and really drop some bombs here on Afkai, which is also involving our favorite our favorite people, our favorite people, Niji Sanji En. Let's read through this. So this is uh, from uh, VTuber News Drop. This is Niji Sanji En's Etheria uninvited from Afkai amid strange guesting announcements. Uh, so. Niji Sanji Ian had a presence at the Western VTuber Conference Ofkai Expo um, during its first two editions. However, special guests Rimu Endo and New Alouette in Melee Parfait have since been uninvited from the 2024's edition as of March 1st, March 4th, right? The circumstances of Etheria's withdrawal have also come among scrutiny of Ofkai's selection process for guests, with accusations of quote unquote strange decisions being made around those who receive an invite. By the way, where is Off Kai? Where is that? Off Kai Expo. Where is it? It says Western. Is it in Japan? It's San Francisco. San Francisco. Okay. California. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think I'm persona non grata in, uh, in San Francisco. That said, that said, let's continue. Um, the circumstances of Ethereum's withdrawal 
have also come among scrutiny of Opkai's selection process for guests, with accusations of strange decisions being made around those who receive an invite. VTuber Newsdrop has spoken to Ofkai Expo executive to explain the process with them denying allegations of favoritism for the embattled agency. So the accusation was, was that they were favoring Niji. So Ofkai says here, after thoughtful consideration, Ofkai Expo believes that recent events have resulted in an environment where Etheria appealing would not be conducive to any positive convention uh, experience for any color inks livers or our attendees such as Eno Alouette, Millie Parfait, and Rimu Endo uh, will not be appearing at Ofkai 2024. Badge refunds uh, may be granted until April 30th. So we apologize for any inconvenience. So honestly, good on the good on the chat or good on the convention for offering a refund. That's very good. It's very nice to say, hey, look, if you signed up for this person, obviously you thought you would be there. They're not. Therefore, you merit a refund, right? You you merit, uh, you know, having some payback. Um, so uh, definitely, uh, definitely appreciated, uh, definitely appreciated there. Um, that they're given a refund, right? That's a good practice to give a refund. Okay. Basic timeline of their guest relations. So they opened up their application in 2024. In December, they opened their vendor applications in in December 20th, they announced Ethereum's attendance, okay? So on December 20th. On December 3rd, Ofkai's first non-Niji Sanji guest, Ashton Martin, is revealed. J January 14th, Ofkai closes vendor applications. February 5th, Selin Tatsuki is terminated from Niji Sanji EN. So this happens here. The 15th, right after the termination, Ofkai closes guest applications, right? So Ethereum's withdrawal was confirmed days earlier. So Ren, uh, Rimu, Anna, and Millie, their appearance was originally confirmed on December 21st. Uh, according to sources, discussions of reversing and canceling the trios started in the aftermath of Selin Totsky's termination. So I know, I think people were saying, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but I think there was a gossip or something. I don't know, some drama that false was the one that like that false responding to a tweet was what got them kicked off or scared off or whatever. But obviously that's complete bullshit. Um, they were considering it since Selen was terminated because they knew there'd be fallout from that and issues there. So <laughs> I like it. This decision will be negligible. Negligible, right? False may have had bad timing, maybe, right? Okay, whatever. But it, it wasn't his tweet or whatever that caused them to make the decision, right? They made the decision already. And what happened here, let's look at what happened here, right? So Ofkai said they reached out to Niji Sanji before the end of February. So in February, they said they were going to remove Etheria from the guest list. And they were talking about their decision to remove Ethereum. They made the decision internally to remove them. The executive said it was a tough decision to go back on the collab due to their involvement in the first two editions. The announcement was made on the morning. It was supposed to be made, but guess what? They were waiting on any color to post it. They would have announced it earlier but they were waiting for approval from any color it was any colors fuck up that caused them to um Uh, that could cause you to, sorry, I was, uh, was, I was messaging somebody important there um, that caused them to do this. So literally just like with Doki, we, we, this, this story of any colors delay, it, it's confirmed. We're confirming it again. Like once again, common Niji L common Niji L. Crazy. The, the the rats are undefeated. Yes. 
Let's continue. Strange guests rejections claim before the announcement could be made, though. So before the official announcement was made, so they already made the decision internally, but they didn't make the decision. They hadn't put it out yet. False ID of things VTubers say. So there's false. Shout out to false. My boy issued a call out for prospective guests and vendors who were rejected from appearing. Hearing strange VTuber guests and vendor rejections from Ofkai. DMs are open. Reach out if you wish to share, even anonymous. In his tweet, False ID posted a screenshot of the guest page, which featured a theory at the top, before inserting a spliced image of a rejection email in the subject line. Ofkai management responded. They were in the tweet thread, denying any favoritism toward any color implied in the screenshot in the original's tweet. So here you see notice of rejection spliced in with Rimu. Enna and Millie, right? Niji Sanji Yen here, right? And then you see them responding. We're deeply concerned. There's talks with strange vendor. We, we'd like to reassure people they've not influenced our guests at any point. So maybe, look, up to you guys' opinion, whether you think that's bad taste or not. Obviously, nothing here that's tortious interference of contract. And obviously, there's already a decision that was made internally. So it, it didn't affect, I'm sure it didn't affect anything. Um, so kind of ridiculous there. Justin says off Kai could have given them one hour to consider. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Off Kai, off Kai messaged them and they're like, yeah, you'll be there okay. today. Mm. today, not tomorrow, not tomorrow. today, uh, 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 uh. today. <laughs> so that, that's, that's off Kai. It's off Kai. Oh man, great. Any color dragging their feet as usual. There you go. Per usual. Guys, you really can't make this shit up. This is guys, as, as a person who's worked with big companies, Fortune 500 companies, this is this is so fucking unprofessional. This is wildly unprofessional behavior. Wildly unprofessional behavior. And it deserves to be called out, guys. This deserves to be called out. Bow bows in the chat. I gotta get a bow bow meme. Guys, send me a good bow bow reaction. So I can get a bow bow reaction for you guys. I'm a man of the reactions, man of the reactions. Um, Justin Y says off Kai could have given them one hour. Oh, you got that already. Silbury says off Kai, uh, just pushed Niji away from truck coon. And Niji said, I didn't ask for your help. You got my suit dirty. It's so true. It's so true. Francisco Palma Beltran says Niji Sanji takes weeks or months to perform any action. Also Niji Sanji. You have one hour to sign. No, literally, this is Niji Sanji, the biggest fucking hypocrites this side of the Pacific or that side of the Pacific. They're this side for me, that side for you guys in America, but I, I'm on this side, guys. I'm on Asia side. I'm Asia pilled here. It's 1 a.m. and I'm hanging out with you guys. I mean, what? I'm hanging out. Look, it's 1 a.m. and I'm hanging out with a bunch of. Degenerates. You guys are degenerates hanging out with me at any hour of the day, some greasy lawyer. Come on. Darja IBW says, Niji took an entire week to check, correct the mistake they made in their graduation tree for Pamu, something Pamu herself pointed out in an hour. Even Pamu got back in an hour and they can't do it. What the fuck is up with that? Zulfide says, uh, well, you really can't expect high schoolers to be business professionals. No, you can't. You can't. When you're paying them $7.40 an hour, you can't expect them to respond uh, properly, right? All right, let's continue. We are deeply concerned. There's so we got read that one. That was a tweet from them uh, responding to false. Offkai responded to false. Offkai expanded their guest list selection and conversations. Most guest list decisions were made before selling Patsky's termination. Staff also claim they're trying to ensure a diversity of guests. There's no minimum size, no agency requirement, as evidenced by many indies we have already signed. And by the way. As Oshino said, indie does not mean Indian. It means indie, independent VTubers. We really aim to shine a light on the full spectrum of VTubing community. That's why in the end, we had to reject people who were certainly guest material, even though they had been guests prior. Not because of lack of merit, simply because we cannot say yes to everyone and chose someone else instead. We received a big amount of applications by people wanting to perform musical content, but obviously we can't stuff 20 karaoke sessions 
into one weekend a week. Oh, you can't do it. You can't do it. See, this makes me, I've always wanted to like run a convention. I feel like I'd be very good at running a convention. It's like when I see them saying, we can't do 20 karaoke sessions. You can't challenge accepted challenge accepted mindset convention 2020 we're gonna have we're gonna have 40 karaoke's guys we're gonna have 40 karaoke's we're gonna do it we're gonna crush it we're gonna crush it the craziest convention this the legally minded convention lfg let's do it legally minded 2024 Austin, in Florida, uh, that if it, Florida on that side, somewhere on this side, you know, somewhere on this side, Seoul or uh, Bangkok, somewhere over here, Minecon 2024. Hello, mindset. You missed my free super set. No, I did. I thought I got all of them, man. I, I, it's my, 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 my back end says I got all of them. Sorry, I thought I did. I really do go through every single one. Uh, honestly feel like I'd rather sign an agreement with the Yakuza or Triads and EG be treated with higher degree of professionalism for the same level of respect for the law. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, they at least have like some code of ethics, right? Versus, I mean, EG just wants to pretty much fate, fate indenture you, right? Lily Skewer says, considering how incompetent they are in every other regard, how did any color get such a large following in the first place? I, I, it doesn't come out. Here's the thing, guys. Here's why any color gets away with it. It clearly doesn't come out because all of this stuff, they have gag orders on all of these people. There are gag orders on all of these people. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, gag orders on gag orders on gag orders. Uh, the jerk says, there's no way Andrew can run his own convention. Oh, you know how to, mo God damn it. You people who know how to motivate me, don't start that. Don't start that. NZ says, a quick and great reaction is violence doggos. Okay, I will look at that one. Violence doggos. Violence. Violence doggos. Okay, got it. Okay, Zalther says, could you please watch uh Karimara Clara Face Connect JP original song be with you. Truly incredible. Okay, let me put that in there. Uh Kai Kaminari. Was it Kaminari Clara Face Connect? Face Connect. Uh be with you. Be with you. Okay, cool. Um, I will watch tell you what, because it's four minutes. I will watch it off stream, but then I will I will try to see if we can have like a, a show where I can play it. But I will watch that. I promise you. Doomslayer Dragon says, hypothetically, if an ex talent sued them for mistreatment and won, what and how much could any color be on the hook for them? They could be on a hook for a lot if there's damages, especially if there's damages for their losses, for the amount that they paid for their equipment. There's a lot. The problem is the lawyer's fees are going to be so much money. The lawyer's fees are going to be so much money, and it's going to be so difficult to collect from Niji Sanji. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be very, very difficult to have an international lawsuit against them. So that's the problem. The problem is collecting against their Japanese assets. That's going to be the real battle. That's going to be the real battle. Uh, there's less going in uh, poo. Oh, never mind. <laughs> less gagging. In the I get it. I get it. I get it. Uh, although, I will just say real quick, when you're talking about gagging jokes, obviously. Disgusting. Japanese law sounds like thought policing. It's close. It's close. Uh, my thought, maybe the guest list was amended on the fly. Niji was like, guys, we have up to 12 more days. Maybe. Maybe. Also, I got good news. I got good news that now I believe, and I'm going to test this out. Let me check. Let me check. I believe I can now redirect to our girl, Sayu. Yes, 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 yes. So I am going to, so now we can officially automatically redirect her to once we left. I, I, I DM'd her. 
and we now got the automatic redirects. So we're set up now, guys. We're set up. Andrew couldn't possibly organize a legal mindset versus uh, times TS TVS event. No, Lawcon Lawcondi 2024. Oh man, that'd be that'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Um, impossible. Uh, Silas has any color. Was also an early entry into VTubing, and like you said, no one challenges them on their garbage. Yeah, yeah, no one calls them on their shit. No one calls them on their shit. Uh, research before making Lawcon setup. Uh, many things are flops out there. Willy Wonka. X yeah, no, 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 no. I, I don't do anything, guys. I don't do anything uh, without a lot of research. That's just like with my streams where I, I'm not going to be the first, but I'm going to be the one that's most researched. I don't do anything without lots and lots of research, but I've actually held small conventions in Tokyo. I had a convention in Tokyo uh, for folks going, uh, going East and I've um, done, I, I'm planning ones in uh, Bangkok as well for, but just for people moving over here, but scaling things up is, is another story, but very possible. To Jojo Bean says legal mindset VTuber model. When very soon, I've already got it. I just haven't set it up. I haven't set it up. Lark Marcus says, look up Bow 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 as the title 35 seconds. Okay. I will look that up as a reaction. Uh, Beautiful Orange said, did you see Ghost Data Music Creators tweet about their contract with Niji and being silenced about it until February 6, 2025? Niji forever owns an unreleased song. Makes sense given their contract. The, the permanent silencing makes sense given the contract that we saw this morning. All right, let's continue here. So Offkai Expo has been my favorite con since they accepted me. Dusko tweeted, who's in Artist Alley. The staff has not been great, attentive, and hardworking to make this event for the fan base. This was echoed by many vendors. However, some previous guests tweeted discontent for not being invited by 2024, mostly due to lack of reasoning from Offkai in their rejection notice. I'm sorry to my audience that was looking forward to the meet and greet on my panel. Pastoroni Ravioli said, tweeted, I know I went there last year, not sure why I'm not a guest. Uh, Fiorzara showed the contents of the rejection letter to the public, saying she appreciates receiving the well worded email as is common to never hear back. Big appreciation to Offkai Expo for sending out rejection letters. It is so common to never hear back, and I've been in this position before myself. It's just as hard telling people they were rejected for a con. This was very well worded, though. Hope it all goes well. So it says, Dear Guest, we receive around 300 applicants this year for guests, and we are humbled by your submissions. Many of you are deserving of a spotlight, but unfortunately, we cannot accommodate everyone, especially given our reduced programming slot this year and budgetary concerns. Consider this a rejection, both as a guest application and for consideration for a panelist con conversion. We cannot answer questions about how the convention determined its programming this year, but please do not view this rejection as a deficiency on, on, on your part. Thank you for daring to apply, and we hope to see some of you apply again next year. If you believe you are receiving this email on air, please reach back out. Otherwise, thank you for your patience as we finish reviewing everyone's applications. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Afkai stated the majority of those rejected thank them for the rejection notice as it's not even standard amongst conventions. It's nice to know you at least got rejected, right? That's that's actually really good. Uh, news drop has yet to be able to independently verify claims of guest relations with handling. Uh, the success rate is around 10%. That's not bad. not bad. They reduced it to combat 2023's tech and logistic issues where some panels were delayed by upwards of three hours, including the Iron Mouse concert. I didn't know that. I did not know that. There are approximately 50 panel applications and 20, 250 vent, vendor applications. Etheria announcement released in return. Ofkai eventually got permission to post an announcement and said, after thoughtful consideration, Ofkai Expo believes that recent events have resulted in an environment where Etheria's appearance would not be conducive to a positive convention experience for any of any color's livers or for our attendees. As such, Enna, Millie, and Rimu are not appearing at Ofkai. Said Ofkai executive reiterated to News Drop this, after, this announcement meant to go out on March 1st. Um, and as a close to that date as possible. Pending Niji Sanji's approval. Once again, Niji Sanji are the people that held this up. This is regardless of what False has tweeted. They also denied delaying the announcement given Ethereum's withdrawal was evident days later. However, they did, they did admit that False's tweet made their statement seem reactionary 
and undid the thought and planning we put into it. While Ofkai had reportedly finished offering guest slots with Etheria's withdrawal, the convention is exploring how to fill the void. The removal of Etheria's programming time has afforded us room to fit others. How about Niji Sanji's cosplayers, artists, or fans attending Ofkai? With, with Ethereum's withdrawal confirmed, Ofkai is offering refunds for those that were visiting, wanted to visit Nijisanji. However, those who planned on attending the event, Ofkai assured news drop their security team will be reviewing their plans to ensure Nijisanji cosplayers, artists, and fans have a safe and enjoyable experience. No specifics were mentioned. So you're, you're welcome to come and cosplay your favorite Oshi if they're Nijisanji. Totally fine. And by the way, I don't believe in people that people should ever be harassed or cosplaying or liking somebody um, for liking somebody that's a Niji Sanji. That should totally be within their power. Um, it's uh, it's something that is uh, something that is good, right? Something that's just tangibly good. Um, now, that said, let me get these super chats, and then we've got a little bit of Pippa uh, to play here. Because uh, some people were uh, some people were wanting some base rabbit, so let's get that. Uh, Frostbit, welcome as a new member. Appreciate that. Uh, Doom Slayer Dragon says Pastoroni is great. By the way, please show her some love. I will. I'll, I'll check her out. I haven't heard of her before. I'll check her out. Uh, Dontazo says, imagine Andrew doing a meet and greet in Tokyo's legal mindset. Would like to go through. Yeah, actually, I, I will do another one in Tokyo. I'll do a meet and greet. It'll just be casual. I did one before, but I, I, we what we did last time was we hung out in Akihabara. Uh, we went to a cafe, hung on a Kiyabara, went to some stores in a Kiyabara. Uh, very fun. And then uh, we also are Akihabara. Akihabara. I know people are going to get mad. Andrew, you're not pronouncing it like Riku. You need to pronounce it Akihabara. Okay, yes. Hi, 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 hi. Right? Um, so, uh, yeah, we had a good time. We had a good time. We also uh, did a meetup. We had a, a little meetup in uh, Ginza. Right? We had a, a conference in Ginza hangout. Uh, as well so we'll, we'll we'll do some fun stuff there uh we'll do some fun stuff that's all i'll say um tv table tray says is there anything in the contract that talks about a third arbitration to resolve disputes between the company and livers before going to court nope nope there's nothing about an extra arbitration not at all all there is tv tray table there's there's in the original contract in the in the the original contract there's something about a good faith a good faith appearance. You're supposed to do good faith negotiation. That's in there. Um, and then last year, Unbound Soul says, naive question, but given some of the recent proceedings from Zion Sasayu, Asayu has stated Niji can drag the case out. She's Californian, right? And isn't that the inference with fair and speedy trial? Well, once again, applying California law is going to result in a lot different outcome than applying Japanese law. Um, so neat. What the point is that she wanted to sue Niji that would drag it out, right? Them trying to come at her would be a fool's errand. They would get blown out of the water. There's no way they, they couldn't drag it out. If they're coming at her, they could, they could drag it out. If she came against them, it's, it's about attacking, right? Better to defend an attack. We do have a special guest who I'll bring in on a second in one second, but we need to get a based rabbit clip in here or my people are going to revolt. There's going to be a revolt here if we don't get this clip in here. So let's get this clip, which was a super chat earlier. So I want to play this. It was a $20 super chat. So we have a little bit of based rabbit. This is Pippa subscribes to Fillion's OnlyFans. Let's go. OnlyFans, Fansly. No, no, please stop. Is that pornography on no, here? No, 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 no possible no, and no, restricted no, content. No. I'm signing up right now. Oh, no, no, please, 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 please. How much does it cost? Five dollars a month? Yes, it's cheap. You can chat twenty dollars a month. What does twenty dollars a month get me? Nothing. Okay, then I'm doing five dollars a month. What do you expect to see? I'm looking for porn on your Fansly. I subscribe. Oh, there's porn on here. What the fuck? No, it's not. You're sick. Wait, there's fetishes on here. I've never even heard of. What the hell? Chat, she's lying. It it is nothing but wholesome pictures. Really? Yes. <laughs> if I subscribe to the AI, can I ERP with it? Let's stop talking about this. I don't like this conversation anymore. Free loot pictures if I spend two hundred dollars. I know what I'm doing for the game. Oh, chat saying you're. Okay, that was great. That was great. Appreciate that. Generates. Well you guys degenerate. That clip. Um, and one here before we bring on the guests, Lila Skewer says, you know, I get it now. Any color is successful in part because of bad practices. They arrange everything to their benefit and make people they transact with bear every burden and responsibility. Indeed, they do. 
but without further ado, it is a gentleman who uh, has been on my channel before, and I'm glad to have him on again. Uh, and, you know, was a subject of our discussion through the later here. I would like to welcome back to the channel, False ID. Hey, hey. What's going on, False ID? I'm going? good. You're on a roll here, Legal. You're going nonstop uh, here, man. Uh, listen, man, when when it's hot, it's you know this. When it's hot, it's hot. When it's burning, it's burning. <laughs> You do not, you know when to strike when the iron is hot, you know when to cover it. And, you know, I knew how to break things out and explain them in digestible chunks. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I got it out in the specific order that I got things out. And uh, speaking of breaking, it looks like we have some breaking news here for you, actually. Uh, okay, we have a, Ooh, break some news, break some We news. have a music producer uh, that is actually saying they've been working with a Niji Sanju liver. And upon looking at that summary out there on Twitter that was from the Niji Sanji subreddit of your contract stream, I know that's a lot of connections. Yes, uh, yes. They had stated on February 6th of 2025, I'll be able to uh, talk about what's in my contract for the song I made for Niji Sanji. Now, that's all very promising, right? Um, and they're yeah. like, I can't wait till this stupid contract is up. And we, we know of some of the Niji Sanji libraries they work with. Well, now um, they have since come back and said, said uh, as of an hour ago. So I just got off the phone with my lawyer about the Niji Sanji contract. They officially in uh, perpetuity, 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 forever own that song, period. <laughs> Wow. Any color, any color, I hope you burn is their words here. Wow. Uh, just just wow. So it is a rippling effect here now that we have of people actually, uh, I believe, checking their contracts and seeing uh, what's and, actually and, in there. And, and that's the most positive thing about this false is that I've had a lot of people reach out to me privately after this and say, thank you so much because I, I just didn't know what to think about. I didn't know what was important. I didn't know what to read or not read. And, and, you know, I'm thinking about signing up or, you know, I'm, I'm looking at my contract thinking what's fair and not fair. And even I've had agencies, aspiring agencies say, look, we know we have to do better than this, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's what I want. That's what I want. I want people to do better because I think we can do better. People can do better. It's possible to be better. And what, was there is not acceptable in the Western world. I'll put it that way. Yeah, uh, it might be. It may be. It may be okay in Japan, but it's that certainly was, not. That okay. was the question I had for you. Was I understanding? You know, you're not a Japanese law expert or anything in that. As I way. say I many, mean, many times. I mean, does yeah. does it strike you at all that that could hold up? Uh, in any court in the world, not right? America. Not in America. Not okay. in America. I mean, yeah. I can say, right? I can say that authoritatively because I know the Niji sisters, the NDF, they're going to shoot the orbital strike at me the second I say outside the U.S. But uh, as a, <laughs> in the U.S., in the U.S., I can say it with my chest, right? I can say this is not going to hold up from a legal perspective. But but going outside the U.S., I would say this: I have questions. I have serious doubt, right? I I will say this false. I even have doubt in Japan. I'm just not a Japanese lawyer, right? I, I, I really truly think that what they are trying to do is skirt labor laws, which clearly would apply because the whole structure, the level of absolute domination they have over the VTubers is a clear employment arrangement. It's just the, the whole structure is like an employee where they control what you do, where you do it, how you do it, the, your whole your whole existence. Uh, which is an employee structure. And actually speaking to that, I maybe could give some actual background here for you. In the prior unsigned contract from your prior stream, it sure. had mentioned training, right? It yes. had mentioned that. Now, we're not aware of any kind of actual um, English talents going through this, but for the Japanese talents, basically 100% of them now go through what is known as the Virtual Talent Academy. and uh, so I think there's like something like a 25 to 33 percent chance that once you go through that academy, you eventually get into the Niji Sanji Japan branch. Uh, OK. And so that has a lot of pieces to it where um, there it's like a full time job. It's like eight hours a day. You're doing dance lessons. You're doing singing lessons. It's sure. 
uh, actually got um, actual salary attached to it, uh, surprisingly, sure. won't tell about. So that is somewhat pertinent to those folks. We have just never been ever aware and ever heard of or ever acknowledged of any of the Niji Sanji English talents going through any kind of training or academy, quote unquote, like that before. Right. And it's it's interesting because the the language here and I pulled the agreement back up because I know people are still going to are still um, putting this together. By the way, shout out to everybody that was able to put this entire contract together through screenshots. <laughs> yeah, I saw. You guys, the, the power <laughs> of Internet autism is great. And I love you guys. I freaking love you guys. So uh, the training program here. Right. So this is that provision you're talking about. Yeah, about that's training, the one. Yeah. Right. It says. Now, the language says shall participate. I get what you're saying, but it shall participate upon request, right? So the key is, is that what you're saying is for Niji Sanji Japan, it's more mandatory, like the, it's it's requested for everybody. But for EN, it's not. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think they have anything equivalent right. to this in EN. As but they a matter could, of, though. They could. It's funny, though, because they have they, had potentially two uh livers go to en because they didn't want they did not want to go to this academy <laughs> they they wanted to not even bother with that they just wanted to get straight into it and sure, uh, sure. that's what we have from that sure and that and that makes sense like that definitely makes sense um and and to me maybe that's why they uh maybe have a separate uh separate channels for them yeah right? yeah so if you don't do this you're in this channel versus that channel which is fine they can do that as a corporation that in and of itself isn't the problem the problem is everything else <laughs> and not to run you here uh, over on time but there was also another sure. piece that no, kind of ahead. really jumped out some of us that are aware of Ninja sure. Sanji. uh it went into the uh portion about hey if you have like uh, I guess it was like a dispute with another VTuber or if there's yes, something happening with another the, VTuber. Let me get that language right here and pull it right up. Other uh, VTuber. Yes, here we go. It's interesting because there was a bit of a dispute like that within Yuji Sanji Japan ages ago uh, between two of their talents. Uh, that was uh, Meiro and Roa. And uh, it was a really strange case where one of the talents thought that one of the newer talents started like talking like them and sounding just like them. And it became mm -hmm. a serious contention point so much so uh, that we uh, do believe that actual potential legal proceedings came out of it. Wow. And uh, it, it was really just a, a whole strange back and forth and, mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to figure out how much management was involved or was not involved in it. Uh, so th there is that aspect that has also already been in play with Niji Sanji Japan. Mm -hmm. Which which makes complete sense is that, you know, it's like the, once I said the, the Godzilla let them fight, you know, and I can believe it. I can completely believe it, you know, because what they're doing is they're benefiting from allowing essentially their employees to have a, a conflict and then siding with the one that prevails legally. So like it's it's kind of, hunger gazing hunger gazing them against each other and then picking the one that decides to be right in court or that you know is proven right in court or even that ends up winning a settlement right so it's taking all responsibility on them whereas if they were employees if they were you know dealing with this like labor law they'd have a responsibility to mitigate issues within um within their company right if there's two if you're running a mcdonald's and your cashier is fighting with your fry guy right? You've got to mitigate that. That's your yeah. job, right? Yeah. And it's the same thing if even if they're working remotely. I know the law hasn't advanced, but it really is the same. So uh, that can be a that can be a big issue there. And very lastly, I think it came from the aspect of today where we were talking about um, like what kind of, you know, even social interactions you have online. Uh, so even like liking a tweet, or something like that. Yes, uh, can yes. come into play in their purview here, um, which brings into question: like, is intent at all even acknowledged by them or not? So that it, was that did not, especially with today's agreement, the one we came up, especially yeah. related to Sayu, right? Intent does not matter. It's 
whether or not, and I can bring up the Sayu stuff. Give me one second. Let me bring it up one more time. Um, or whether this was, you know, obviously Zion, but you know, we're, yeah. So intent was not something that came up at all as part of this analysis. It was essentially if you are agreeing or encouraging, and that's the language that I think is really dangerous mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in this MOU. Here it is. The slanderous and defamatory actions shall include any act by which party group, party B, that's the liver, agrees with or encourages words or actions that undermine the social credibility of party A or the virtual livers that belong to party A. Now, the reason that we bring this up is we actually have a more recent precedent for this now. Um, there was one of the livers, Scarlett Unaguni, who had apparently uh, liked and hearted a certain um, comment on a video of hers that just said, I believe, Kuro Sanji, right? And that being a derogatory term. Now, that could have been potentially even by mistake on her part because she likes and hearts lots of comments in her videos. And so, you know, that is brings in again the question of like, was intent ever going to be, uh, you know, under the microscope here or not? Right, right. And 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 look, I like. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm false. I, I I read a lot of comments, and I sometimes like or you know, uh, you know, what is it? Heart, you yeah. know, a comment yep. in my in my YouTube channel doesn't mean I endorse it fully. It just usually means I'm liking the the fact that they commented on my video, and I'm supporting right. people commenting on my video, even if I disagree with them. And because I I encourage discussion, even if I disagree with the content. Me liking a com a comment does not mean I fully endorse the statement as my personal statement. But uh, we've seen <laughs> that Niji Sanji doesn't take it that way, right? Yeah, or they they may not action on it right away and they'll throw it back into a backlog and then run a, yes. a train on you with 12 reasons why you're out the door. Right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes or, sense. Or one might say they run a pony express. Hi, Reba. <laughs> hello. Hello, LM. hello, pony. Eye. <laughs> you know, you, you right. know, I was going to guys, I have a, I have one for both of you false. I, I, I need to edit you into this, but I, I I'm improving my reactions. So, uh -oh. so Rima, Rima, you haven't seen this one yet. I got to play it. It's 20 seconds. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art as well. Some of it, some of it a little lewd. Uh, to, to, tho to those of you, to those of you drawing me with horses. Um, y'all are into some fucked up shit and I hope you get, <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I, re I really, truly, I hope, I hope you get the help you need. I'll get no your, I'll get way. your brody. I'll get your brony avatar in there, false. Don't worry. It'll, I it'll can't come. believe she acknowledged that. I can't believe she acknowledged <laughs> that. <laughs> Who did this edit? Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe it was me. I'm not gonna say it wasn't. I'm no shot. It wasn't. Uh says, damn Andrew, how deep do you plan to go in the Pippa rabbit hole? Pun into the gosh dang it got psycho. Come on, bro. Disgusting. You. Uh, false eye fed LMA. That's me. Now, false, can I can I ask you real quick? Like, obviously, um, this is a little bit off topic, but kind of on topic. I ended with the off Kai stuff. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you took a little heat there. Um, but I guess we're pretty much solidly in the clear that the decision was made far prior to anything you said. Uh, mm -hmm. regarding the Niji Sanji EN livers. It, it just appears that based on the latest stuff, they, in very Niji Sanji fashion, uh, delayed a response, which was what held everything up. No connection to me at all uh, is yeah. what we're hearing from this. Uh, effectively, yeah. they already had it planned. Uh, mm -hmm. They had to delay a little bit because, of, again, the uh, communications issues with Niji Sanji. Uh, this has mm -hmm. been something that works. So I had talked with Hofkai directly uh, in the... Uh, time before and after they had made that decision and announcement. And, you know, the question was, it's like, well, okay, but why did you guys wait two weeks? Right? Like what, what's with that? Cause I know folks are going to ask you about that. And their reasoning was, you know, the decision was made two weeks ago, but actually getting the ball rolling, effectively getting Niji Sanji to, you know, uh, work through this takes time. Uh, they don't have, professional lawyers they don't have a team of legal professionals they're volunteers the volunteer event 
Um, so they work at the pace they can. Uh, and that's, you know, just to explain to people, you know, what, what's happening there, because obviously, you know, you want to get ahead of that as soon as possible. So that way people have as much time as possible to determine if they want to do a refund or, you know, again, have any kind of, uh, recourse about that. Sure. Sure. Yeah. And, and obviously look, I get it. If you're going to a con, like people go to cons for the guests, they go for the people that are showing up. So if you were going to uh, a con and you were expecting to see, you know, Niji Sanji, they're offering that refund, which I think is very good. And, and frankly, from a con perspective, their procedures there were spot on uh, in terms of being, uh, being responsive to the guests. They didn't invite, you know, giving them the, um, maybe not a reason, but still well, at least yeah, we'll see you know, about that one. I'm still working on that part of the story, right? but, uh, okay. yeah, there, there's maybe more to that, but okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll reserve my case, judgment. I'll yeah. reserve my judgment on that one. In, in any case, uh, you know, it is strangely, uh, either, uh, a, a major, major coincidence or a uh, false ID singly has the power to just uh, turn uh, <laughs> away Niji Sanji. Unilaterally power. <laughs> You're so strong. Yeah. Your yeah, so yeah. Strong. There's a um, lot of large events that uh, apparently have been uh, orchestrated by false ID. He's got so much power this year. It's crazy. So powerful. Yeah. I love it. I love it. You know, what, what, uh, what 100K subs can do for me, you know? Uh, <laughs> off to you sir legal mindset and purple man for covering this protect our waifus indeed um dantaza says i can imagine demand for lawyering contracts skyrocketing all of a sudden element fed being harvey specter and mike ross winners don't make excuses oh <laughs> uh, i love it false what say you to convention collab with andrew law law condies 2024 five six <laughs> I remember. that's 2024 Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i have to say i i've not had a great experience uh with conventions uh conventions you don't not. really you yeah have not i have not yeah, yeah. conventions yeah. don't understand vtubers just quite yet um so representation there does matter right you mm -hmm. want to work with them and uh open up a lot of doors and that that's been happening um, but it, it takes time, it takes patience and a lot of trying to detail the technical pieces to just um, what a VTuber is and why it's important to, you know, have the technical side be as proficient as possible. Um, yeah. Cause but, that's clearly what the leaning on is. It's not just the yeah. old fashioned con. I used to go to a lot of anime conventions and stuff like that. We just have people show up, they sign some shit and they leave. That's the lowest tech thing ever. You have a couple right. chairs, folding chairs and tables. You sell some body pillows, you know, you're good to go. Um, but you know, obviously with VTubers and having a VTuber perform is much more technically problematic. We'll yeah, like absolutely. Uh, it's a bit of, you know, we've had instances where we've heard of VTubers who are half the country away and literally like uh, minutes before uh, a representative from the con is like, OK, so who's on the stage with you here? It's like, what stage? What are you talking about? What are you ta no. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. Sometimes it's up on there in the moment. It's really wild. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy. Sonic Wolf says, catching up on a joke for the start of stream. Now I want to roll toilet paper with Niji NDA written on it to wipe my ass. <laughs> oh, good. Glad you guys read that. Um, how much horsepower does he have, though? A lot. <laughs> Niji, uh, horse girl. Save me, horse girl. <laughs> and Team Pony now assemble. Kurosanji is in trouble now. So, uh, Rima, <laughs> now that you're here, you mm -hmm. had a chance. I, I'm sure that you were. I know you're busy. For my last stream so i'm not going to quiz you on that but you i know you did watch my contract stream yeah so do you have any thoughts stream. or anything you want to bring up you know after having reviewed that yeah i um stayed up till 3 a.m I, I didn't catch the end of the stream but i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you're ruining my sleep schedule um i think the the part that was the most shocking to me was the one where you said that there was a lot of articles in the contract that were still valid after a termination of contract so oh, yes, did i this. understand that oh, that no, part sorry. properly like sorry sorry so this yes yes so this is called the surviving provisions clause right so right here so 
uh, essentially, if you look at it here, mm -hmm. there are 31 articles in this. They list, ironically, not listing the survival provision I was wondering, as one that survives. I was wondering ironically. if that was yeah, uh, it's, I was like, it's like a Article funny 28 not in this is a loophole. It's like, wait, now to be loophole. honest, a judge would probably look that as a scrivener's error. That's not this big an issue. They're probably like, okay, obviously the survival provision survives, blah blah blah. Okay, but the prob the problem is they listed the whole fucking con they listed 17 articles of of 31, right? And actually, maybe even 18, but like That's it's, it's a lot, yeah, yeah, it's more than half, not reasonable, not reasonable at all, not even sort of reasonable. Uh, it's way too much uh, to survive. It, at most, you're going to get like the IP, some uh, maybe some sort of confidentiality, whatever, but not uh, not so much beyond that. And that's that's a big issue. A big so issue. let's Over say half. hypothetically, if Selene had hypothetically signed this contract as is, then after mm -hmm. her termination, these articles would still apply to her right now. Correct. And she might feel, even though. In Canada, now I'm not a Canadian lawyer, so I'm being very careful. I'm being very careful about how I say this. I would imagine if it's like America, if, then it probably is not as enforceable as Niji Sanji wants you to believe it is, mm -hmm. right? She might believe that she's still under a lot of these provisions, which is why she might not be talking so much, mm -hmm. right? She might believe she's still gagged. Whereas in the U.S., we have things like, for example, if you believe you've been wronged at your workplace and you want to replace a, a complaint related to your labor, to your employment, they can't gag you. They can't stop you from talking, right? They can't stop you from telling how you've been wronged in your workplace. No, you have an absolute right to that. So um, that's something that Doki might believe she's under, but maybe isn't. But also she might just not want to fight it, not want to deal with the drama, not want to deal with the pressure. So she might just be acting as if she's under it, even if she might not necessarily have to follow it. Now, Sayu is very, very, very informed. She has mm. spoken to her lawyer. She's much more, uh, you know, and I, I think I've said I've spoken to her directly. Um, so she doesn't need to know, like, go speak to a lawyer. She already has. So, so Sayu is very informed of the rights, but Doki, I'm not sure. I haven't spoken to her. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, the other thing that concerned me was uh, the part where they were talking about some kind of information and that the livers needed to give them uh, an information, but it was purposely vague. Well, I don't know if it yes. was purposely vague, but it was vague. So we, I was thinking yes. that it, it really did felt like an attempt to put pressure on the livers uh, in a, like kind of an, I don't want to say bully way, but it felt like that. Mm. It feels like they could use that in a lot of situations mm. to put pressure on the livers. I don't know. Did yeah, I understand that part properly? Not yet. You got it right here. So I've got it. Uh, provision of information. Party BB. This is where the BB joke comes in. BB's in the chat, guys. BB's in the chat. Okay. Um, party BB shall provide party A with certain information requested by party A. Now, I know my Japanese uh, speakers have said this is probably a bad translation. But remember, they're hiring, you know, the 740 an hour uh, help here. Uh, they probably didn't do too good of a job translating this. Uh, I assume that they meant personal information, right? But they didn't clarify that. This is literally never defined. They just say certain information referred to as the information. Let's Which, just see if we can head off that yeah. that that translation piece real quick. So yeah. is this I mean, this is a potential document being handed over to an English speaking individual. This is yes. what they're going to see. So whose yeah. burden is it for the translation? Right. Like it is it is on it is on Niji Sanji to exactly. translate this because they are providing it to an English speaker who is in an English speaking country. It is on Niji Sanji. So if they fucked up the translation, you're exactly right, false. That's on them. It's construed against the drafter. The drafter is Niji Sanji. So that's uh that's a that's a big one right there. Yeah, yeah and just, definitely I, I, I just know term. where a lot of those arguments are gonna come. Well, you can't listen sure. to this, it's not translated correctly. Well, wait a second, this is the actual document they may be receiving, right? This isn't right. like that. We took well, we took this Japanese document we found and then we translated it, and this here's yeah. what we have. It's like, no, this is actually the potential uh, document that a actual talent may receive and mm -hmm. be asked to sign. 
Yes, that's yes, wow. absolutely. And, you know, once again, um, I know a lot of people that they'll say, and I've talked to folks who come on and said they know people that just sign the contract and then don't even read a word in it. Mm-hmm. They just Yeah. It, it's it's like they uh, look at it like a EULA, right? Like an end yeah. user agreement that or yeah. something. We're so used to just scrolling, agreeing. Okay, well, let's do, let's have let's get to the fun stuff now, right? Yeah. And false, I, I don't want to make any assumptions here. So you tell me, and, and Rima, you tell me as well. Uh, and I, I listen. I got I got a bunch of love for the hags out here, but like I think what the average age of VTubers is probably somewhere between. 20 and 25 of that being inaccurate on that is that like and talking about averages i mean i'd make it skew a little younger so my implication there's maybe not as much financial experience or legal experience contractual experience is that is that is that a bad assumption do you guys think that's a fair assumption i think it's a fair it's assumption fair. yeah i think it's a fair assumption most especially with nichi sanji mm-hmm. okay yeah, so people are saying, yeah, 20 to 30, whatever, 22 to 30, 26. Yeah, Niji Sanji may skew younger. And frankly, if you're a younger person, you're going to you're gonna understand less. You're just going to be signing stuff because, hey, an adult put this in front of me and told me to sign it. Um, you know, that can happen. I mean, um, I think the idea is that they're thinking, oh, this is only for one year. Whatever comes, uh, I'll, I'll tough it up. But the thing is, the IP part is like uh, for forever. eternity. Yeah, forever forever they mm-hmm. always own all of your works your derivative works you're in process works you're done even if you pay for them yourself yeah yeah that's the biggest part so that's the, the kind of the i.e last cup of coffee right doesn't matter if she paid for it herself it's a Santatsky derivative work therefore mm-hmm. the property of niji sanji right? mm-hmm. kind of nuts uh niji sanji right now and i would have gotten away at two if it wasn't for you meddling kids <laughs> sorry sorry we're going to Scooby-Doo the shit out of this. Um, at least Offkai's lawyers have a better job than any color's team of monkeys they call. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think of military versus Niji Sanji contracts? Well, I, I've had a, uh, false. I've had a lot of guys in the military. They've been watching me the last day, 24 hours. I've been seeing and, that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they've been dropping that. Like even the military is not like this bad. Um, and that's where you uh, become property of the government, effectively, in many cases. You know, <laughs> that's, yeah. that is uh, knowingly that you are not uh, even your own property. Yeah, that's a good friend of mine, Tank Rat. He's in the he's in the UAE. He goes, my work contract here in the UAE is on the English side of the page and Arabic on the other side, with page numbers matching up, templated from the government. That would be doing it the right way, right? To be able to match it up, to make it close, and make sure that you understand everything. Uh, page by page to make it enforceable. I mean, that's that's a gold standard, I think. Um, Ghost Data said, so would you be willing to look at my contract with Niji Sanji that's regarding them. my music? Is this that's, the guy? That's okay. the music oh. producer. I'll, I'll look at it. I'll look at it. Hey, message me privately, though. Message me privately. Got to keep it. Got to keep it private. All right. Uh, the bottom of the template implies to me that it is drafted by Riku and not a lawyer. No, 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 no. And I know that everyone was screaming. They're like, oh, my God, we found the dock for the yacht, you know? But I'm like, calm down, guys. Calm down here. If you look at the very bottom of this, it's got the the corporate, public corporate address for Any Color Inc., which is Midtown uh, East, 11th floor, 972 yeah. Akasaka, Minatoku, Tokyo, Riku Tazumi, representative director. Oftentimes, the head signs stuff. This yeah. is very normal uh, that the the person who's at the top of the list signs, uh, it's like the important job to sign. So it's not weird that he's listed on a contract as a signatory. Not at that all. is uh, the main financial district of Tokyo. All the VTuber agencies there are within about a thirty minute walk of each other. So Cover Corporation right. is about thirty minutes away, and then from there, fifteen minutes away is Brave Group. They are all in that financial district, and we've known. Yeah. Of that address forever and ever. Right, right. It's not, yeah, we're not doxing the yacht, guys. Come <laughs> no. on, come on. You're gonna have like, you know, nesticle jihadis out there. Um, out sanity for 10. So, thinking now, could that be the reason why they delayed the L, the last cup of coffee song because they didn't own it since it's Lily Pichu's? What? No, I mean, it's a derivative. What's Doki's, or sorry, Selen was the one in it prominently. So, they well, have argued why they they in in the yeah. messages that we saw on that black screen stream. Sure, the reason for the delay given was because there was previously graduated talents within it. 
So sure, that was sure. our reasoning that we've seen for the actual uh, delay. Which that lines up with what Niji Sanji does. It lines up with their MO. You know, it makes a lot of sense. A uh, horrifying thought. Is there any chance BB is a Nihi Turtel? I don't even know what that is. And that error for Niji can track the error to a particular source. I don't know what that is. Nihi. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know, Von Cobra. Sorry, man. Um, let's see. Ghost data. I will check my Twitter. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And I may just give you my Discord so you can hit me up there. Uh, when in motion says, I think the worst thing is their ability to force amended agreements. They could choose to completely change the agreement, which could be diabolical. Did you guys see that? Did you see that part? No. Wait, what do you what amendment? Oh, you didn't see that. Yeah, Tony it's a big girl. part. And the thing that sets it oh, off is even wilder. Oh, the thing that sets on. it off is like nearly anything. Wait. You can sneeze and it practically sets yeah. off their ability to do this. Let's talk about this real quick, Article 23. <laughs> this is what even the stock bros were talking about. They're like, okay. if this is true, this is nuts. Article 23, amendments to the agreement. In the event that our Party A amends the agreement, Party A, that's Niji Sanji, any color, shall notify Party B in writing. In the mm -hmm. event that Party B does not object to any amendment, Okay. Within 14 days after notice, okay, they're deemed to have agreed to the amendments. So I was getting crazy about that, but I was so pissed off about that, I stopped reading. But the next sentence is even crazier. The same shall apply, meaning this automatic acceptance applies if Party B conducts any activity under the program in that same period. Meaning, if they literally do any sort of VTuber-related activity, if they use their persona, their character at all, they're deemed to have accepted an, an amendment regardless of whether they've even read it. So if they get an email in their inbox and they are currently live, they are deemed to have accepted that automatically. Because this language says conducts. It does not say starts, ends, whatever. It says conducts. So if you are in the process of conducting something and they send you an amendment, you've accepted it. Oh, my God. Because you're conducting an activity. If you send a tweet, you're conducting an activity. So even if you don't check it, and mind you, in writing, and it's by method of their choice. So let's say they were to mail it to you. And you didn't check your mail yet, but you've received it in your mailbox, your physical mailbox. Well, guess what? You go and tweet without reading that mail. You've already accepted. It doesn't matter. Oh, my God. It's the mailbox rule. So, yeah, this is really bad. And I think anybody who knows anything about contracts, this is one I know in the U.S. will be thrown in the trash can in two seconds. The, this is not going to fly, right? Um, there needs to be more, more here to accept an amendment than – now. In some cases, you can't accept an amendment by lack of action, but this part about conducting the activity, no, that's 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 ridiculous. So uh, one of the things I just couldn't believe, I mean, that that just jumped off the page at me. What a loophole. Was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, yeah, the contract just puts a lot of things in perspective. I feel like also the, um, the whole you spending money on your on your activities and then owning the IPs to it, I feel like that would also insensitize. And it also explains why Celeste stayed for so long in the company, mm -hmm. because you're like, I've invested so much and it keeps stacking up and then they mm -hmm. own everything you've invested. So it, it uh, doesn't make you want to leave, even though the conditions were, were wrong. So when Vox said, oh, she could have left at any time during that black uh, screen stream, that wasn't totally true, right? Because uh, she's insensitized to stay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, and the thing is, you're right. Because the thing is there for termination, they pretty much have to consent to it. That's why uh, we've talked about in false. I don't know if you've reported on this, the queue, apparently the, the, the graduation queue. Yeah. But um, we also, even in this contract have, you know, um, the terms of the length of the contract, right? So sure. we have the two years and then oh, the two time, years. well, the times in addition to that, we also have the yeah, times yeah, that yeah. you have to, 
um, give for your termination or give for your, well, yeah, give for your termination, say what well, you want to yep. quit, how much time you're supposed to give the actual party A, that being Niji Sanji. Um, right. So to say you can just quit any time. Well, it's not like you can just walk away immediately. Yeah, you can no. quit, but you you can give them your notice of quitting. And then who, who knows how long that'll take to actually get out of. Yeah. Yes. They communicate yes, exactly. via pigeon, apparently. So yeah, and they can terminate <laughs> it, it so long. <laughs> and they can terminate it immediately for a number of reasons. They have a number of articulated reasons that they give themselves to to remove it, uh, including ironically, uh, bullying. Bullying. Uh, ironically, if you were to engage in any form of bullying, you know, we we put that back. They can immediately terminate that, as well as uh, I think the joke is here the uh, heterosexual intercourse joke. Uh, but uh, that said, harassment and bullying, and that's this is a Japanese translation thing, by the way. Okay. Um, what if you're because, the, res uh, the the receiver of uh, harassment or bullying? That doesn't. This apply. is interesting. Inducing harassment or bullying of a third party. Well, no, that's a reason to fire somebody, right? Okay. So you're not supposed to fire the person who's being harassed, mm -hmm. right? But what they're doing, what they did by flipping it on Doki, or rather, selling, you know, and during a time there. Um, by flipping it on her and saying she was the one threatening the others, they can make it sound like she was the one threatening to harass or bully them, oh, right? Yeah, and yeah. justify the firing with no notice, or rather under three months notice, mm -hmm. right? Take uh, said, it's like if I clocked in, mailed an amendment from to my house for a reduction of my pay, then when I was clocked in, I automatically accepted the amendment. Yeah, that's that's the amendment policy. That's a very good way of putting it. Uh, go ahead, false. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna. I'll let you know. I do have to drop, unfortunately. Oh, good, uh, good, good. Other other uh, meetings to get to here, but uh, well, thank I, just, you for joining me. Uh, I'm going to thank you for this excellent, excellent insight here into especially just um, what is, I think, a very, very, very prominent uh, piece of the story. And yeah, um, I just love that. Unironically, it says betrayal in the. <laughs> yeah. Yes. In the actual yeah. document itself, it says no. betrayal. <laughs> Literally. So dramatic. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, betrayal of honor. You know, it's like, oh, God, okay, okay. All right. <laughs> uh, but again, False, thank fantastic you so work. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Catch you soon. Bye. Uh, Lily's, Lily's cover says, Nihi Lar Lardigal says, fictitious or fake entities that are deliberately incorrect in reference works, such as dictionaries, encyclopedias, maps, and dictionaries added as editors to traps to reveal unauthorized distribution. Interesting. 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 Could be, could not be. But then again, since it's not a signed form, you don't know. You, you can don't know who may have added that in. That, that, that's not decisive proof, but eh, interesting. That'd be cute. Uh, Brent says, if BB was purposeful mistake to track potential leakers after, companies are doing this clandestinely track leakers with documents or errors mixed into specific people. Maybe, maybe not. But then again, you can't prove that because once again, you add one specific error or one small error. Uh, mm, not so much. Um, Doomslayer Dragon says, there's no way that holds up in court. Now, zero. Zero chance. Zero chance. Oyamata says, does this mean Kurosanji won't be able to re-upload the LCOC last cup of copy? Do the permission it uses from the song was directed to uh, selling Doki or Kurosanji having a way around it based on the contract? No, their contract says they can use last cup of copy if they want because they it involves, it's a derivative work for selling Tatsuki if they want it. They probably never will. It'd be fucking dumb for them to do that. But they can hold it forever. So there you go. Uh, sent a horse video. Can Niji be doing tax fraud? I can't comment on tax fraud with doing tax fraud, but thank you for the horse video. Your horse video. Uh, I'm glad. Did you like my new clip, Rima? It's just for you. I did. I really did. Okay, okay. I knew that. I add... was familiar with that Mori clip. Uh, we once raided her, and then everybody started spamming horses in her chat, and I was like, "You idiots! You don't understand the implication of spamming horse." <laughs> In her chat is not the same as spamming it in mine. <laughs> <laughs> Important question, Reba. Are you the horse from the song Old Town Road? No. <laughs> Let me get the rest here of the horse jokes. You guys are the MVP. My virtual pony. <laughs> Mr. Ed wants to hit the hay, but Rima ate it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh God. Let's see. I think we got, I think we got the rest of that. Okay. Okay. Oh, then here, uh, Valencia pony is back. We need the other pony member and team assemble new T, te- uh, teams and why assemble Tim. actually that was before you came on that was literally before you came on okay. so we've gotten all the team pony express was fully assembled today um okay let's get up to the ones that were earlier off topic but a couple days ago you're talking about mm-hmm. copyright it made me think of a clip of tenma shouting we're gonna get dmca and it can be found on low effort clips phase gear video okay i will look that up offline but thank you so much uh, for shouting that DMCA is digital millennial copyright act. So yeah, don't get DMCA. So if you're uncertain about any of the information, you don't have to provide it. I don't know. I mean, with that, with that clause about like you, you called out Rima, the information mm. clause, it, it could be anything to me legally. It's probably unenforceable because it's too vague, but like, I know Niji would pressure you to say, Oh, well, yeah, you they would to do whatever we want. Like, it's Niji, like bro. We've would. seen. Yeah. They they gave they gave her one hour. Did you see that for the the Zion the the Zion? Uh, tech, so I Zion I really Discord? wanted to catch that stream, but I was working on okay 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 uh, so my video I'm release. Gonna sh- yeah, I'm so going to show you happened? here. I'm going to show you here real quick. Hold on. She I said that you. she. I thought it was three hours that she got to. No. S- Originally, it was one hour. They were offering her a single hour to respond. <laughs> I, and the, and I you know I guess right here I'm gonna show you one more time, right? One hour, right? It's not my not your boy making up. Hi Zion, thank you for your time today. Uh, please see the attached for reference if you need an English version of the document we have previously sent to you. As mentioned during today's call, huh? we would like you to check it, sign it, and send it back to us by 4 p.m. GST March 10th in about an hour. Rima, they self-report that they want it back in an hour. Are they allowed to give you a time limit on when you need to sign back, sign a document? I mean, I mean, they can give a limit, but it's an unreasonable limit, and it's what we might call yeah. duress. So it's like undue pressure. It would make the contract unenforceable because she doesn't have enough time to review so it. So can she can she negotiate that? Like, can she say, "Well, I need to have this read by my lawyer first. I well, don't she did, think- she did, she did, and they ended up not wanting to give her time. Then they gave her a little time. Then they gave her more time, and then she huh. eventually just said, "No, I'm not signing." Yeah, right. don't you have to pay? Is there some kind of rush fee for lawyers too? Like, if you need an emergency rate, uh, yes. read of somebody, the contract, if, I feel like that would that would, must cost more. Even if, if somebody called me in my off hours, I'm charging them more. But yeah. that said, that said, I've done it. I've done midnight contract reviews and stuff. If you got to do it, you got to do it. I mean, that's part of being a lawyer. You're like, put on your big boy pants and you do the work. But, um. You know, it does, it does cost money, but once again, they're trying to get her to do it without a lawyer, right? That, yeah. That's the point. They want her just to sign it and they know that she's lawyered up. So they're trying to, that's them being a dick because they know she's lawyered up and they're trying to prevent that. So. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Kenny Nini rep says, keep doing the good work, man. VTubing scene really need this eye opener of how bad these contracts are. Yeah. I, I was like a kid in the crisp. That was the funnest thing I've done in a while. I was so happy doing that. I was in my zone. It was perfect. Um, Nate Levy says, as for the U S army, when you go through MEPS, the recruiter goes through each document. So, you know, what's required and expected. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, kid loco says, be real this month. I had to learn uh, too much about laws that when I read or heard from others, people, other people's good job. Mm, I just imagine the series suits. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people quote suits to me. I, I know all about suits despite never having watched that series ever. Um, Mitchie Lardy says, not sure if this clip was a reference to my super chat, was actually referring to the what is a black company by Pomo's left snot. Still great though. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Oh yeah. Uh, Fear, Fear and Aria says the immersion breaks with the clips helps a lot. The contracts shown make me sad. Only upside of this is that Niji set precedent on bad contracts. Yeah. That's why I try to educate and entertain, kind of balance it out because I know it's kind of depressing. Like if I just read that through, like, you saw my stream earlier, Rima. That shit's dark. Like, and it, it, it when you really think about it, you're like, wow, this just like time after time, provision after provision, article after article, they're just doing something. It's just more in favor of Niji Sanji, screwing over the liver, screwing over the VTuber, time and time and time again. Now, one thing you brought up, Rima, which was really interesting. I saw your tweet. 
I saw your tweet. Mm -hmm. You brought up the one thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? What's your take on that that amount? Well, I'm still unsure. It is the does this apply to their debut or to material purchased after the debut? Did they specify that? So I'll go right back to it. It's it, to me, it's vague. It's really vague. And so, they don't clarify it later on in the contract. No. They, they say later that they can, they have the choice to give you stuff for free. And I've heard that Niji Sanji does stuff like giving you a phone. But technically, they don't have to give you a phone, right? But they give you a phone, okay. right? So that sort of thing, it's like, all right, well, that's but that's at their at their leisure. So here, where it says exclusive fee, if Niji Sanji, right, any color determines it's necessary, so they don't have to give it to you. Yeah. To purchase new equipment for the distribution of contents, and Party B purchase it, you may charge them for up to two hundred thousand yen, which is one thousand three hundred thirty-three dollars. That's right? so little. However, <laughs> however, if you terminate early, you have to pay it back. So they're going to deduct that to get it back. Right? Yeah. So exactly that part seems. Like it explains a lot. It also explains why uh, Doki Bird might have spent upward to two hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. And like I said earlier, it it falls. Like the livers will fall for the sun cost fallacy. Like they've just they'll think I put so much work into this. I put so much uh, money into this IP that I gotta I gotta make it worth it. I gotta stay there as long as I can. So it's going to be a tough decisions for them to leave in the end. This is just another way for Niji Sanji to shackle them to this uh, contract and to their company. Right. Right. Um, I want to get uh, a couple of this one real quick. Read the banner. <laughs> Read the banner. Uh, like I said, say you uh, specifically, uh, say you, say you, say you, say you, uh, specifically, uh, when she was talking to me about this and we were, we were talking about it behind the scenes, she wanted me to cover this without her. So this is meant to be the closing chapter on this, the final chapter for her and kind of a, a just ending of her, uh, of, of me going through it, giving my opinion on it from a legal perspective or professional perspective um, and kind of closing the book. So she does not want to talk anymore about this really. She's kind of done. Um, NDF is going full hell divers on this man. <laughs> Are they? Oh boy, it's gonna be great. Uh, we now explore the Japanese entertainment industry. Uh, yeah, it's 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 wild. It's wild. It's a whole different culture. Correction is Violet, not Valencia. The Spanish translation. I think he beat the name. Will be lawyer firm badass pony team. Welcome back, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Sparky's text corner said, "Wait." If they do this Hunger Game play with inside livers at Niji, then the bullying that happened to Doki sounds like Niji let that happen now. That's the rat, right? Is that Niji kind of let the let the let them deal with Niji Sanji Ian how they wanted, right? That's kind of it's kind of what the theory is, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, they seem very hands off from the contract. Didn't they say that? Uh... Like the two parties, if they have a feud or if they have a legal dispute, they're kind of handling it on their own. They're washing their hands off of it. They're not liable yes. at all. Yes, they're not liable at all whatsoever. They waive any sort of need to handle any disputes uh, in connection with it, including disputes between the parties, right? Yep. So including disputes between the parties. They're not going to get involved at all whatsoever, yep. right? which is crazy. It really mm -hmm. is crazy uh, that they're allowing the disputes just to play out and they're not going to get involved at all whatsoever. They're just going to let them fight, uh, let them fight amongst themselves. Kind yeah. of irresponsible from an employment standpoint. Mm -hmm. it, very, very all, responsible. I'm just, I'm skipping to another point, but the contract also made sense to me. And now it makes sense why Pomo said on her membership stream, that the management refused a big opportunity for her. And I'm thinking mm, yeah. that it was because it was with another company that wanted to use her IP as Pomu and they have all the rights to that. And they just said no. Yes. Yes. They probably had to get the approval. And they just didn't get the approval. Right. Because mm -hmm. they can just say, nope, 
no, we're not allowing that. Because also, if it's another company, understand a lot of this unenforceable shit that Niji Sanji is doing, the other company would be able to fight them and expose them. They don't want that. They want to be able to pick oh. on their pick on their employees. They don't want to fight another company that with resources, right? The last thing a company wants is a fair fight. The last thing they want. But we are glad we have the pony girl back. Yes, thank you, Ty, Yay. for the two dollars. Appreciate that. And Kirithan, no, no problem, dude. I, I know you just got here. I'm not trying to yell at you. I'm just uh just as a general remi- a gentle reminder, right? A gentle, a gentle reminder to be respectful to the wishes of Sayu. Uh, Lily uh, Skewer says, sometimes a heart pin, uh, a heart or pin is a pin of shame where a commenter says something so dumb, the creator just has to share it. So there's a, there's a provision, uh, in at least Sayu's, uh, uh, silencing agreement where if she liked anything or agreed with it or encouraged it, uh, that's technically a breach. That's a, that's, you know, slander. And to me, this is this is ridiculous because this point is sometimes you like something ironically, sometimes you you might like something accidentally, or you might like part of something. So you like a post. You liking a post isn't always encouraging or endorsing something. Not for so, Niji Sanji. I, I know that. What I'm saying is they're really anal about those likes. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Um Ayn says, someone offered to translate JP documents, see the discrepancies in English. I recommend him to tweet you. Just tweet me. Yeah, if you tweet me, hit me up, DM me, uh, whatever. But yeah, I, I don't have all of the things in Japanese, but I can try to see if they're they're there. So yeah, yeah. Um, Hell's Pike says, and the other thing too is I, I, may, I may say no because I may not want to give out any information. So um the indemnity clause is becoming really common, especially in EULAs. For example, AT&T has one's very unfair. These are unenforceable. An EULA is different than this. This is an employment contract. It's a labor contract. The law regarding end user license for, especially for software, is far different than labor, right? You're not, there's not a human involved, right? It's just, you're using a software. It's much different. So people are more, uh, the law is more casual about EULAs than it is about labor law. Master Megabyte says, if NDAs were made under duress, are they even enforceable? Nope. Nope. If they're under duress, the judge finds, if the judge concludes it's under duress, so under the gun, under a time limit of one hour, they can cut it. They can say it's not enforceable. Um, Giving the option to speak up freely, not counting docs danger. And there's a huge docs danger, which is why nobody brings this up. Because all of these guys know their identities. They're contracting with their real identities. They know their payment accounts. They know a bunch of stuff about them. So, you know, that's an important thing there. Who has the volunteer lawyers? Niji? Or Kai. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. A curious thing. A normal horse has more than 14 horsepower. <laughs> okay. Uh, Demo says the rat glares back at you but says nothing. Is this like a role play? The rat glares back at you but says nothing. Okay. Thank you, guys. Man, that yacht on the 11th floor. Suzumi flex. <laughs> <laughs> Sink the 11th floor yacht. Like a good neighbor, Rima is there. Oh, hi, Andrew. Good to see you on. Is this false ID <laughs> guy happen to be Melody's step bro, buddy? Oh, come on, guys. Disgusting. You guys are bad. You guys are bad. Uh, Nihi Lark, uh, Nile, Nile article, trackable intentional error. Thank you guys for that one earlier. I learned a word today. Nile article. I guess it might be like, German there, right? Article. Yeah. And Nile meaning like nihilistic, right? The root words are like meaning nothing. Like, oh, okay, maybe. Um, Dar- uh, Darth Niji says, I am altering the deal. Pray don't alter it any further. Yes. Uh, Silbury says, tw- Article 23 is a meme that speaks for itself. You don't need any context. Let- let's count in Japanese. Ich, ni, san, ni, san, niji, san. It writes itself. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Zelfried says they've also been known to stagger or delay notifications to members outside the click. So probably less than two weeks. Wait, was that a, was that a thing, Rima? Where they were delaying other people's notifications? Or was that the theory or something? That seems like a rat. They, ha- they have also been known to stagger slash delay notifications to members outside the click. So it's probably less than two weeks. The click is a rat. So it is, that's not confirmed. Yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah, that, I mean, a lot of this is not confirmed, right? Mm -hmm. Like even today, like I've said, the scope of what we know is like, okay, I believe this is reliable. Like the, the unsigned contract, I believe that's required. That's reliable, right? My source is good on that. And then also this, the, from Sayu, that, that second contract, right? I believe that's reliable as well. Can I ask so, what was that second contract that you saw quickly? Oh, you haven't. Okay. No. I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you because it's you, Rima. Only because nice. it's you. If it was anybody else, I would not show we're, them. We're kind of like, going back on it. Yeah. I would be like, begone, begone. <laughs> but, you know, listen, this is, this is, this is peak pony content. So I've got to, I've got to show it here. So this is the silencing contract, the quote unquote silencing contract that was spoken about. Mm -hmm. Um, and here we have it here where um, they, ag they agreed to terminate as of this date. They agreed to a public announcement, right? And this is, so this is the one that she was talking about. So yeah. everything that Sayu said was 100% accurate. I've confirmed this, right? I've seen the full version of this. I clipped it out to keep out confidential but information. She also said yeah. that they didn't agree on a joint statement. They couldn't yes. agree on a joint statement. So yes. they terminated her or something like that. Rima, this was never signed. Mm, yeah, yeah, that makes so, sense. So, so the whole point is the reason why I can show this is it was never mm, signed. Okay, right? It's an unsigned version, and there's no protection in an unsigned version, despite what they say. By the way, they have a clause in here saying that this agreement is con look right here. This agreement is confidential, as well as any information concerning virtual livers belonging to Party A, right? Yeah, the and then they say he. I hate when every contract has that for some reason, uh, or they won't let you talk to other coworkers in the company because they don't want you to compare contracts and see if other people have like more benefits and stuff. Is this like standard? Because I've seen mm -hmm. it in a lot of contracts. I, I this is not, this is not standard in like random contracts, but there is like usually confidentiality. You try to make it as broad as possible. The point is, look, I don't. Companies are always going to try to make provisions yeah. as broad as possible in their favor. They always do that. But is it enforceable? Usually not, right? Usually not. Like what if you're um, going to another job interview and they need to ask you what you're currently making? Are you allowed then to say like any information? Everybody says it. Everybody says it regardless, right? Whether they're allowed to say it or not. If, if your new okay. job is saying, we're not going to hire you unless you tell yeah. us this, you're not going to be like, oh, but I have an NDA. You're just going to yeah. do it, right? People break NDAs all the time. Now, I'm not encouraging you to do that willy-nilly. Mm -hmm. Talk to your lawyer, all that good stuff. Disclaimer, 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 disclaimer. But do people break NDAs in real life? Yeah, of course they do. They do all the time. They do in non-competes as well. Non-competes are often found unenforceable. So are confidentiality uh, uh, clauses. And also, when they involve violations of labor law, which a lot of this is violations of uh, labor yeah. law, particularly California law, Yeah. right? Because uh, this is related to yeah, we uh, Sayu, mm -hmm. you know, this is uh, the problem is, is that this is not, this is not going to be kosher in Cali. And so the whole thing would get, would get dunked out because it's, it's a type of employment agreement. And they're trying to, you know, issue an addendum to an employment agreement. Not going to fly. Not going to fly. Um, Yami, I have a discord group. It's for my YouTube members and for my, um, YouTube members and my locals members. So if you're a member of my locals, you can join my locals or you join uh, the, the um, you have to join at the BLM level, not the, not the RPG level or the gift membership level, but the BLM level, you get discord access. Uh, so I try, I like it a small community. It's not too big, very niche, but we do have a discord community. Yes, it was there. Um, Don Tazo says this contract may also confirm the vacation of Scarl. Cause she accidentally hearted that Kurosanji comment. Ah, uh, yes, they can suspend you for that. They said that. It's there. Great said the person in DM could be a uh, Yashuhiro uh, Harry Igayashi, according to his LinkedIn. Could be. Don't know. Don Cosmic says there was a question in the chat that I want to know. So would management be able to like a defamatory comment on a live account so they can fire them? That would be called bad faith, Don Comment. I mean... Could they do it to make it seem like you did? Yes, but that's like that is breach of contract on their part because it's bad faith. If you do something to knowingly violate a contract, that's what we call bad faith or unclean hands, right? You're dirtying your hands in order to like win in the contract. It's not, they don't enforce that. Courts will not enforce that in America, 
right? Once again, not a Japanese lawyer, but I'm pretty sure Jap Japan wouldn't look too kindly on that either. Rima fans are dangerously close to becoming a cult. <laughs> Apparently, NDF is trying to report you. Have fun with that. Um, Lily Skewers says, while I understand you're skeptical that contract variations were used and likely weren't, uh, you can look up the article, Elon Musk reveals how Tesla caught employee who leaked confidential data to see it in practice. I'll have to look that up. I'll look it up after, Lily. Appreciate that. Uh, what softwares do you use for the blue disclaimer? It's uh, I'm using StreamYards, which is kind of boomer safe. It's a very easy platform, but I know that I will need to use a different software for VTuber-ish stuff, right? I guess like OBS with a separate pr program, right? Mm. I, I need to screw with that this weekend. I may ask you for help. <laughs> I need to, I need to learn how to use StreamYard. So yeah, we can exchange it's info there. <laughs> it's super easy. It's super easy. Uh, Mitchy Lottie says, send a clip again on your Twitter post to the stream. Okay, thank you so much. I'll look at it later. Uh, Lim Ji, uh, Jing says, possibly could say you on for a fun stream though. Maybe for a purely fun stream, but frankly. I probably want to put some time in between that so we move on and it's another era, right? It's a little too hot right now. It's a little, mm -hmm. little too hot right now. We got to cool this down. But yeah, I mean, cool. I'm happy to go on with Sayu anytime. Literal contractual sunk cost fallacy. Yes, it's it's you've sunk so much into it mm -hmm. and now you're in for a dime, in for a dollar, right? Uh, Lily says, I thought about mentioning this tactic, didn't know it was an interesting name. However, I didn't want to give any color any ideas. No, nah, don't worry about it. I'm sure that their attorneys have already thought of all this. And I'm sure to a certain extent, I'm sure they even know this. And they're probably doing it knowingly. They're probably doing it knowingly that like if this was examined um, in uh, in America or whatever else. Um, yeah, if it was examined in America, um, there, there might be problems. I think Niji even knows that. I think Niji knows that. Big Reaper V says, it sounds like Niji is trying to create and enforce a sunk cost policy to entice their talents to stay. Yes. Yes, they are. Yes, absolutely. And by the way, I talked about um, like assistant language teachers or people who teach English in Korea or Japan. Oftentimes they'll pay for your flight, but they'll say, if you don't finish your contract, you have to pay back the flight. Yeah. Right. So that's how they get you. And they yeah. take your last month's pay because they take that back. Yes. Oh, you know about this? <laughs> no, but I feel that's the no, but I, I had this conclusion too when I read the contract. Well, when I was watching your stream and I read the part in the contract where they can just take your last month's work. And also the fact that they got um that they gotta front everything is also like I do a lot of freelance work, okay? So sure, and I'm sure. and I'm used to fronting money for my clients. Sure. Um, but I can if it's a large amount. I always have the option to demand them to lend, give me some of that money. Let's say like Correct. I'm preparing production for $30,000. I'm not going to have just $30,000 to front a company laying around. They need to give me some of, some of that money. So some of right. these expenses can become really high. And some of these VTubers may not have like this uh, back pocket money to spend like uh, on a trip to Japan and a hotel, et cetera. Right. So that part yeah, was 2, also 000, a red flag. Two thousand dollars for like the plane ticket and then a yeah. hotel in Tokyo. Like it's yes. not cheap. This is not it's not cheap. It's that, yeah, it's not cheap at all. You know, it's not and cheap it, at all. It's also happened that I fronted like for smaller amounts of money, sometimes I don't bother asking for the for an advance. Sure. Uh, so I would just front it, but then what happened is that those companies they call for bankruptcy, and then you lose everything you know you bought for them. So sorry, I should laugh, but yeah, yeah, that's that's really bad thing to do. It's like you get burned once and you learn Super after bad. that. But this is just to show you that these contracts really do not protect the livers in in so many ways. No, they're they're not they're not looking out for the livers. Is mm -hmm. what's saying they're not looking out for the livers at all. Um. Let's see. Off topic, but Rooster Teeth just got this pain. Okay. That's a blast from the past. Wind Motion says, my normie boss asked what I was listening to. He's so intrigued he's going to look it up. It's over for Niji. Look, this is something like when a, when a normie lawyer gets into this and is like, well, I'm, I'm kind of a weeb, but like, you know, when, when a lawyer is getting involved, it's like, holy shit, this is legally fascinating. Yeah. You have a problem. You have a serious problem when people are going down this rabbit hole because it's, it's just so insane. And when I see this problem only getting bigger, it's not going to get smaller. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be nuts. It's 
going to be nuts. Um, let's see. By the way, Lydia, what's up? I see you in the chat. Appreciate you. Hi, Lydia. Um, Help Pike says... Uh, Alpike says, when I joined the army in 2008, the recruiter laughed at me when I asked to see the contract. I guess things have changed. <laughs> Rima, I have been spammed by military guys who are like, wow, this is worse than the military. But are the military contract that bad? Like they're made by the government. There should be some, like they yeah. have to adhere by a lot of standards. So at least in, at least in, they, yeah, they have standards, but here's the thing, especially in America, people don't know this. When you are in the military, you are no longer a city. You lose your rights, oh. right? Like you, you, you fall under a different series of rights in the military. That's why they have a separate code of justice called the Uniform Military Code of Justice in America, right? The mm. UMCJ, where that's completely different rules, completely different rules, because the rules are like totally set. Like you can get. I mean, technically, like the court martial process, that's totally different than regular court. You're not going to regular court anymore. You're going to the military court, right? So you are like, you are government property. So they can do more with you than they would do if you're a regular citizen. There are rules and restraints, yes, but they're more like recommendations, right? Okay. Yeah, they're more like recommendations. Um, it's very interesting. I, I, military law is, I'm not my specialty, but just knowing a little bit about it, and it's crazy. Uh, Pablo says to my understanding, a person can apply for a contract and then withdraw and also find out how much you get paid. So warriors. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, one huge ninja says with how much you said in America in your last stream, you need bandit Keith in America soundbite for one of your sound clips. Oh, I'll look that up. Bandit Keith in America. Okay. I was like super patriotic in that last one with how many times I said, uh, in America. I just have to, I have to be clear because I know the NDF, they, they, they hit me big on the, you're not a Japanese lawyer. Well, I'm not analyzing this under Japanese law. Um, there are Streamlabs, OBS, I have OBS, a combination named Slobs, Prism, and just name a few. Okay. Thank you. Uh, UMCJ equal Uniform Code of Military Justice. Thank you. Uh, I.e. JAG for the Navy. Yes, correct. Jags are the, the officers, right? The justice advocates. Um, yeah, got that. Cool. So I got through all the super chats. Appreciate that. Rima, anything yeah. else you wanted to ask about or any of the yes. questions you had on this topic? Okay, go I ahead. have a few Sorry. things. No, it's oh. okay. So what um what kind moving forward do you think the standards will change to give livers more option to keep their IPs? I think companies, if they, if especially, especially if more people are ex kind of talking about their contracts and are going out there and, and, and just like exposing this, I think that they're going to, people are going to be not willing to uh, get behind companies that are exploiting their workers, exploiting their employees. And, and look, if you care about your, 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 you know, particular VTuber, your Oshi, whatever, would, do you want them to be exploited, right? Do you want them to not no. have any rights? No, right? No, you shouldn't care about them, right? So I think they, they're they going to push for that. And one of the big issues, in fact, I had somebody message me on this issue, is do they retain the IP? And well, what if I had the IP and then the company wants to claim it after I work for them, right? Yeah, that's the other thing because... Yeah, I've heard of those situations happen as well. So I'd, I'm getting those questions, and it's a very interesting question. But well, what's and the I answer? Think it's a, or, or well, I, it? I, I'm going to give you a lawyer answer. It's yeah. I'm going to need to see the case, right? Because like, what's the case? Where's the people? What's the jurisdiction? Right? Where are mm. they? Is it Japan? Is it America? Is it Florida? Like, if it's if it's America, right? The analysis is going to be much different. Because mm -hmm. especially if it's something where they they originated the model before in America, they live there, they're an American VTuber, they end up contracting with Japan and Japan tries to take it. I think that's going to be a huge issue. I think that they could win on that. Oh. I think they could win on that. Yeah, the, the Japan laws are crazy. There is actually a clip I wanted to send you. It's uh, about Sea Dog. It's Connor's like friend. He uh, uh, no, Sorry, it's Connor... His his real name and he's Iron Mouse's good friend. You've probably seen clips of them like together. Maybe. 
And he says, uh, well, he's big into the VTuber rabbit hole. He also has a VTuber. He basically says that, yeah, a lot of people are asking me about the recent drama, but obviously I cannot talk about it because I live in Japan and uh, defamation yes. law there are crazy. So he could yes. actually get sued, you know? Yes. And that's why that's why people keep asking me to bring on a Japanese lawyer and they'll never do it. They'll never do it because they're too afraid of defamation. Right. And it's oh. so anti-cultural to speak up about it. It's so taboo. They'll never come on, even right. if they speak fluent English. Yeah, they, because def, defamation is too scary there. It's so yes. scary, even if it's true. Yeah. So and it's good if I lived in Japan and I, I like visiting Japan, but I don't live there. Right. Uh, if I lived in Japan, yeah, it would be a problem. Potential problem. But if you visited Japan, they could still they could try it wouldn't they wouldn't go it wouldn't go far okay. they would they, but they could detain they could you mm, oh no that's no. for a crime it, this is civil it's not yeah okay. unless they did, they could try for criminal defamation but okay. the problem is going to be service of process so they're going to have to try to figure out exactly when i come in and blah 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 mm -hmm. and figure that out and also the point is it's like you know do you have a business entity because it's not appropriate for you to serve somebody in their business capacity so you got to serve a registered agent you know what i mean like there's all sorts of steps to the process so uh point of the matter is you know they would need to get a lot right there so i'm not that worried about that you know i'm not worried about okay i'm in i'm in you know uh i'm in tokyo for the weekend mm -hmm. and i'm lo i'm in locked up abroad and by the way if they do that they're going to get the PR nightmare of the history, locking up a, a you know, essentially a journalist. Yeah. At that point. You know, that's going to be a nightmare for them. Their country would lose face for that. Mm -hmm. I'll tell it that way. Mm -hmm. If you thought like, you know, people making Johnny Somali a big deal. And that was a, and that guy is like a, he actually committed crimes locking up a lawyer abroad. No, it's not going to work out well for them. Japan is not going to, is not going to look up kindly on that locking up a foreign lawyer no sorry not gonna happen yeah like um especially for like a, a, essentially what is what is exposing their bs right a uh, nico variance uh, says speaking of military being property sounds like a meme but you can actually get in trouble for be, uh, getting a sunburn for destruction of military property really don't ask me how i know that that's funny that's funny andrew uh how how about you apply to become a Niji Sanji VTuber and report juicy stuff on the inside? No, no way. I wouldn't sign that contract, guys. Who would sign that contract? Jacob Andrew, kind of a weeb, said Andrew as he streams with the Fox Girl. <laughs> Don't judge me. Stop judging me. Uh, NZ says, in some countries, when you join the army, you are literally considered government property. And I'm not talking about governments like North Korea. No, I know. I'm aware. Mm -hmm. I'm aware it's different. Uh, like, if you get hurt, they can punish you for damaging crime. People keep saying that. Yeah, okay, okay. Your government property. I got you. Uh, semi eclectic says, short non-VTuber clip, but look up what the fuck is a kilometer. Oh, I love that. That's great. Um, did you have any other questions, uh, Rima? Yeah, so, but I can't find that part in the contract. I just remember vaguely. What do you think in the contract could explain uh, the whole last of coffee thing? I, I feel Last like cup I remember, of coffee? yeah, I remember you saying something it. and it would explain why she lost $15,000. It might not yep, have been it. that she invested that money in Last of Coffee, but maybe that was the amount that she made during that month that Niji Sanji wouldn't give yeah, back to her because she breached contract. Like I, I just yeah. had all these little flags. There's, there's a lot here. There's a lot. Um, there's so many things in here. This is like so full of shit. I just um, have so many theories now from yeah. this. Yeah. Ownership of rights, right? Mm -hmm. So all the I all the all the intellectual property belongs to A, right? So mm -hmm. all IP, all rights belong to A. So all IP, all your base are belong to A, right? Um so in the event that ownership rights arise to party B in the course such rights shall be transferred to A. So meaning anytime you buy something, it's automatically transferred to A. Okay. So they get everything there, right? Mm -hmm. um, here we go. In the event that party A agrees in advance, B may not exercise uh, as against party A or third party, the moral rights of an author, because in Japan you have moral rights, right? Yeah. Um, they cannot exercise though. 
those. So uh, for example, if Niji Sanji wants to show last cup of coffee, uh, even though, even though Selen created it and she should have the right of first uh, performance, the right, the first presentation under Japanese moral rights, that doesn't apply here. She's, she's waived that right. Um, also look at this party B agrees that any and all profits from the products of the character, any and all, including the voice of the VTuber wow. shall belong to party A. Okay. Wait, what? Hold on one second. Any concentration, regardless of name, that's interesting. They can make an argument that even non-names, it's very interesting. But that even your stuff under a PL or a different name might belong to them. They can make an argument on that. It loses. It's the same voice. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Is it true but, that they regard when they say it crap? I forgot my wording. So you're basically, good. the did, are they is this all only related to the IP, the VTuber that Niji Sanji has under their company or to the voice actress or actor well no the, the person so this is the important thing and you have to go to the definitions and this is mm -hmm. very important because the definitions are critical here right what is a vtuber okay a vtuber is not the character it's uh. the performer right it's the performer now the performer is mainly live streaming okay mainly but the keyword is mainly, not exclusively, right? It's not limited to that. The VTuber is the performer, is the person. So they're exercising the control over the person, not the character. That's the problem. That's so the that's how problem. they get them to control what's going on in their PLs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. 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 So what do you think is the... Form? biggest uh red flags for you in this contract like if you have Jesus to just Christ. point out a few things i know there's a lot but oh what's my god the biggest so, like as a lawyer you um, would have to change amendment that. amendment yeah. without agreeing to it amendment for just doing stuff and like doing what you're doing doing your job and it's automatically amended what mm -hmm. the fuck right number one uh the let them fight godzilla with the employees if they're having a dispute between employees that's crazy right it's crazy talk yeah um, trying to own stuff. I mean, this is not as crazy, but I think it's something that needs to be put out there. If they not reimbursing them mm -hmm. and not needing to pay for stuff, they go out there and do and getting the rights to that. I think, look, even if it's legal, it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. Right. Um, also, let me look at some other stuff here because it's kind of late here. So I'm having to remember there's so many things. There's so many things. Uh, having the right to have them show up anywhere at any time, they can make them what? cooperate, oh, yeah. make them participate in meetings, make them go anywhere they want. Shall, the party B shall participate in meetings, conferences, right? Shall, shall. So in uh, the training, they've got to go to train. Now, like false said, they don't normally require that for Niji Sanji EN. In fact, that's why people do EN instead of JP because they don't have to do training, but they can. But they can at any point. Is it the vague remunerated? In, like, is it paid? Uh, we don't know. Only, only if Niji, only if Niji decides that it's necessary, and they, uh, they want them to. Also, it's not paid back immediately. Okay. It's not paid back immediately. It's paid back. Uh, it's paid back later, right? A month later. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, also, uh, here's another one with the materials. Right. This is under the materials, like materials lending here. Uh, so you do have to give everything back, but you also have to, uh, give them back regardless of whether you, whether they paid for it or not. So even if they didn't pay for it, but it relates to, uh, if it relates to their VTubing, you have to give it back to them. Uh, no, <laughs> like what your computer. Yeah. Let's say you paid for so, your computer. So, so yeah. Yeah. Back. If you use it, if you bought a computer and you're using a computer okay. for that. You've got to give it back now. Wow. I, I wonder yeah, if bullshit. they enforce that or they try to probably not. No, it's and, too and much. once again, once again, they probably don't. They probably mm -hmm. don't enforce this, but it's still in the agreement. It still looks shitty. Exactly. Know? And and that's the arguments they usually use. Like my lawyer would usually say, uh, sometimes I'd be like, Yeah, but they won't enforce that. And 
And my lawyer would always be like, well, if they do, they could, that's the thing. They could enforce it if they decide to. So you should really remove that part of your, out of your contract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I don't like about these template contracts, because then it's often the person who's uh, asking you to sign it is like, well, this is a template. We give the same to everybody. Uh, I, I can't change it. I don't know how to change it or whatever. They use this mm -hmm. excuse to not change those things. Yeah. And they say, this is a standard. We can't change mm -hmm. it. You sign it or don't sign it. And that's what, yeah. by the way, that's what most large corporations do. You're going to go work at yeah. Walmart or Timmy's or whatever else. They're just going to shove an employment contract in front of you. And you mm -hmm. don't have latitude to say, I'm not going to sign this. No. They'll be like, well, then you don't have a job here. Like go, you know, that's the contracts. Now I have to say for the record that, yeah, technically they can negotiate it, but what are the odds they do? Probably very small. Right. Let's yeah. And there's going to be the some pushback. Like, how, like the thing is, there's so much to negotiate on that contract. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when you're pitching somebody with a sales number and the, the budget is way too high. Like the other right, person, right. if you're asking for something that's so out of their scope, they're just going to pull back completely. But yeah. if you're asking for something that's reasonable, that's close to what they're already asking for, then, you know, there's more uh, leniency there in terms of negotiations. So I don't know if how much you can actually negotiate in this. Maybe the, the length of the contract, that's an easy one. You can maybe bar out some things or, but obviously they're not going to accept the whole thing to be changed. No, 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 no. And there's only certain limits. The thing is, because so much has to be changed in this agreement, I don't mm -hmm. think they'd agree to everything you need to change. Like, even yeah. if you've got one or two things, like maybe you'll get like some, uh, an extra money. Maybe you'll get extra money. Like you can negotiate 1,333. You can negotiate that up to 300,000 uh -huh. or whatever. Yeah, right? exactly. Maybe you could, maybe you could, but that's all you're going to get. The rest of the terms are probably going to be in there. Right. Yeah. Like I wonder maybe. if Fox or other, you know, really, uh, popular livers when they renew their contract maybe they can negotiate like that merch cut for a little bit more mm -hmm. but it's not gonna go from two percent to like 50 percent you know it's it's there's only so much they're gonna be willing to give yeah yeah only so much they can do um, Zint says, what satisfies me about this whole situation is we're seeing a free market in action. Niji San misread their SWAT and are, and are taking market, market forces to the face. And the thing is the, the more they try to like resist and, and the more they try to like backpedal, it just looks worse for them. They just need to lay low, shut the fuck up and let it go away. Right. And I think that's been their problem with a lot of this. Um, LM and Rima, do Western mm -hmm. VTuber agencies treat their talents better than Japanese ones? I'll let you comment on this, Rima. Yeah, I mean, the only Western VTuber agencies as of now is uh, Face Connect, which is based in Canada, and V Shoujo, which is, I don't know where they're based, but they're based in America, but I don't know which okay. state. And uh, yeah, they treat their talents very well. I mean, V Shoujo, they get to keep their IP. Uh, face connect i think they have nothing but good things to say about the company so yeah i think they do treat them better i mean they are like labor laws there's there's yeah. the culture is different at least in canada yeah. it, you couldn't in america ask these things yeah yeah and i think vichojo's model is different right it's not they're trying to keep it like independent contractor under american law which is how it should be right not Hey, we're your boss and you're our bitch, right? Which yeah. is the Japanese model, it seems like. Like Vactor and uh, Niji Sanji seem to be doing very much the the indentured servitude model. <laughs> yeah. And I've heard that uh, there's what they call slave contracts in Japan. And it's contracts that are up to 10 years. So I, I feel like it's there's a lot more things enforceable there. And I know they're trying mm -hmm. to make more laws about this. But, you know, legislator yeah. takes some time. It takes time and to change the culture, right? To change the culture of like, mm -hmm. yeah, that's not okay, yeah. right? Um, Multi Abyss for 20 says, I'm writing a paper about the companies in my art college today. I'm putting Niji Sanji down. My friends in law school and entrepreneurship have to write one too. So it's going to be fun when we have to share to our class. That'll be fun, yeah. Because Niji Sanji is about PR. It's about art. It's about everything. It's business is not just one thing. It's not all law or marketing or whatever. It's everything combined. And this is such a beautiful scenario because it combines this. And I can only cover this because I have people backing me up with facts and their information like Rima here, who is a wonderful addition to the Pony Express. <laughs> um 
<laughs> Master Churro says, I mean, uh, Sweet Size IP is from before she joined Hollow Live. What could happen? Do you think after all the updates on her model, it belongs more to Hollow Live or Jose Machi? So I, I would need to see her contract. I would need mm -hmm. to see what's going on there. I don't know. I would need to read everything. I can't make a snap judgment based on little information. With when I when I gave those comments about Sayu's uh, second agreement or the draft Niji Sanji template, I was doing it based off of looking at actual stuff. Right, the more I have, the more I can say. That's why I say this was so good because I was able to actually give you comments on real language, not just speculate. Because otherwise, it is just speculation. Mm -hmm. But I can say, if this is true, this is what this means, right? And that's why the, the real contract, or at least the template, was so powerful. Because I can actually read through it and go through words with you and show you what words mean. It's stuff like mainly or mostly, how that is a dangerous word, right? Because it doesn't mean entirely. So these are what lawyers use to trick you. Very small words that can mean a lot of things. Uh, Niall says it's rats all the way down. Do you think, okay, Rima, overall, does it confirm the rats or does it debunk the rats? What do you think? Uh, At least the, the rats, they, I mean, no, it confirms a lot of things Sayu said to me, uh, that people didn't believe her, for example, that, uh, they didn't, she had to pay everything out of pocket from her debut and mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. like that. As for the rats, no, it, it doesn't. What rats? Like the Elira and the Click stuff? That doesn't confirm any of that, no. no. Uh, allegedly, this is how that's going down. That could have been amended. <laughs> oh, those amendments. If not you, then send Rima. Horses are protected in Japan. She'll never end up in a pot. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Japanese attorney voice changer, eh? Maybe, please. Have the I whole anonymous the... thing with the voice changer. Yeah, I would not to change my voice. Uh, the Riku voice. Um, the voice issue was one of the big reasons mm -hmm. why uh, Sayu noped out. Wait, really? That also makes sense because if they owned a voice, that's why they would ask him to stop his voice acting activities. Oh, Because it's like yes. competing in the VTuber yes. niche and it's the same voice. But that is pretty dystopian. I do agree with that. I really oh, do agree yeah. with that. Uh, someone set us up the bomb, cats. All your base are belong to us. You have no chance to survive maker time, Captain. Move Zig for great justice. Such a great clip. Such a great clip from back in the day. It's a throwback. Sidla says, speaking of amendment that implies just the act of tweeting, good morning, could be considered agreeing to the amendment. if it Yes, just using, doing anything in the personality or in the character or in the role of a VTuber counts as conduct, mm -hmm. right? Anything. So... What they're saying is by doing what you need to do for your job, you're you're accepting an amendment. That's bullshit. Come on. Uh, Yukio, as a certain someone who was with Niji mentioned, she can't stream on her current account because she doesn't have a computer. I wonder why. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. I don't know who they're referring to. I don't know they're referring to either. I don't, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Silbury says, if any color stays silent, more people will leak info. If any color addresses it publicly in any way whatsoever, it'd be a PR backfire. Yeah, that's why I said, like, people were, were in, you know, people um, who said, oh, well, you know, you're worried about Niji. If Niji does shit, they're confirming everything, right? Mm -hmm. The last thing they want to do is confirm everything. That's going to be, that'll be way worse for them. Now they can just say this, which is they're out, which they can all say. And, and they're going to say, oh, well, that's bullshit. You just made it all up. Okay. Yeah, this isn't a signed I mean, contract at the end of the day. Yeah. It isn't, and it isn't, and it isn't. Mm -hmm. I've said that. I've said yeah. that. It's not a signed contract. So exactly. technically, you could mm -hmm. say it. that's not what's actually signed. You could say it's complete BS. You could say mm -hmm. it's mostly BS. You could say whatever you want. You can all get the you, Niji Sanji stands, NDF. I'm giving you your argument. Just use mm -hmm. that argument. It's a good, it's a decent argument because it's at least partially true. It's not signed. So you don't know whether it's reliable or not. Yep. Now, based on my source, I have reason to believe it is highly, highly reliable. However, be your own judge. Mm -hmm. right? Lily Sk uh, Skewer says, update on the Sox VTubing. They've had their first graduation even before any debuts. Apparently the IP for Pinocchio with tits was a lost <laughs> in a heated game of Mahjong. Wait, what? Did they bet Never. it? What? 
yeah okay all right i don't ask questions i just look at it and i'm like degenerates you guys are degenerates that's a new one um uh, Vichojo is like a Western talent agency. The talent is the client. The JP companies are like idol agencies. The talent works for the country. Yes. Yes. And that's a big cultural difference in the setup and also the perceived level of control. This level of control is normal for the idol industry. It's not normal otherwise. Oh, Gator. Thank you, Hi, Gator. Gator. What's up, Gator? Pamu lives in Japan. So it's possible they could have made her return her computer. She left on mutual terms, so they might have signed or not been able to say why she didn't have any more. She's in Japan. She can't say shit. She can't, she can't, she just got to let it happen. Yeah, that makes more sense. It makes a lot more sense. Uh, phase is not perfect, though. There's Fura Yuri. Uh, okay, I don't know much about that case. Uh, Rima, can we get a... Hi, honey, or an ara ara. Hi, honey. Oh, there we go. The clips, the clips must blow. <laughs> Vishojo is like, oh, no, I got that one already. Um, Kurasanji shooting their foot again. Don't let th that distract you from the fact that <laughs> Pakora bought a monkey. Got that clip queued up. Nico Variance says for 10, I started auditioning for Niji after Luxium came out. Closest I got was that they watched my auditions. Now I see it as a blessing. It didn't go further. Very, very. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people got lucky. And what people are reaching out to me, Rima, and they're saying is like, hey, look, I have this contract. Should I sign this? You know, like, what should I do? Like, I'm considering this. Like, I'm second guessing it. Or I have a friend who's thinking about it. And I recommended your stream. Um, I think you should read it very carefully, potentially consult with a lawyer, a local lawyer that knows your local law and uh, decide whether it's enforceable where you live. Yeah. D Decaf Greek says, Niji seems to be the very definition of every black company I read about in every manga. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're falling into the role. They're seeming like it. Also, uh, Panthera says, Vishojo is in San Francisco, California. Callie, yeah. Okay. Callie, cool. thank you. I keep thinking about the beginning of Zom 100. Great anime. I like Zom 100. Very good anime. Very good anime. Um, it's like the movie Repo Man, except any electronics used while working for Niji Sanji is seized rather than your process. <laughs> oh, no. I uh, just want to point out, California is the hardest on companies about misclassifying employees as contractors thanks to a law earlier this year. Yes. I've covered this on my separate channel uh, when I was covering the Gina Carano lawsuit against Disney. The, uh, they're they're really screwed because a lot of the labor law has been tightened up. So you you're really assumed to be an employee in California, which is why Niji has a, is never going to win a case trying to say she's not an employee or Sayu was an employee in California because the California law is very clear on this. Um, Hazard Spaghetti, I, aka Katie, says I'm sure I'm more likely to apply in places like Hololive or Face Connect now. This whole contract is yikes for me. They get away with this. I'll say this. You may love Hollow Live and Phase, but even with Hollow Live and Phase, read the contract, okay? You know? Even with the ones you like, still read the contract. With all of them, read it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you understand it. It's important. Don't forget the waiver of liability after six months. I can't remember the exact time. It was six months. It was six months. And they're, and they're completely resolved of all their liability. Highwind says, what rights and protections, if any, do people have who, who signed to stop Niji from training AI based on the performances they legally own? Ooh, this is a really fascinating question. I Honestly, thought about it, especially about this, that they own their voice, so they could also make a deep fix of the voice. AI is tricky. You technically can, yeah. Now, I think there would be litigation eventually because enough people would complain and say this is a slippery slope and whatever yeah. else. And I think that would cause an issue because you're going to get to a point where it's like people are signing away their voice and people are creating deep fakes left and right. And it's just, there's huge issues with that. Yeah. Right? When they signed away their voice, the AI technology wasn't preeminent. So could you use that as a way to contest it? Maybe like I didn't sign, sign that out. 
Right. And also the changes in the law where like the laws yeah. change were like, oh yeah, AI is a separate thing. So now we've got to uh, take that up separately. So if you're using mm -hmm. AI to do this, you can't do this. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because that's how they do it. They definitely do it with AI. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, Mega, uh, Master Megabyte says maybe leak signed contracts made under duress. Nah, I, I, I'm not going to leak a signed contract for a lot of reasons, at least right now. If it's a lawsuit that's filed, I would, or a complaint that's filed, but not, there's, there's a lot of reasons for that. I'm not, I'm not going to go into details. Um, Project W07 PLN25, thank you for the zlotte. Um, per Article 5, can reasonable judges conclude commissions covers in connection with the execution of part of part of, uh, party B and reimbursable? Let me pull that up. So article five was about reimbursing costs, but this is kind of bullshit because if you look at this and this is really crazy, Rima, um, with the costs, right? They're only reimbursing um, the actual cost of transportation, right? And the actual cost of expenses in regards to travel and work, right? So the actual cost. And then, let's see, because he's trying to say in connection with the execution of work, but that's only when you, well, let's see, actual cost transport when you visit, and actual cost of expenses incurred in connection with the execution of work by Party B. The implication is this is the work you're doing while you're traveling, but I get what you're saying, right? Maybe you could make that argument. Maybe you could make that argument. Good, good eye, good eye, good eye. But here's the thing, you're required, you're required to send the invoice by the third business day of the month following the month. So you're not getting paid right away. And by mm -hmm. the way, it's doesn't payment deadline on Niji Sanji. The only payment deadline is on the only deadline is on you to submit your invoice. If you fuck up and you don't submit it, you don't get reimbursed. So yeah, yeah that's another one there that's bad. So for example, that's in one of my videos, we talk about the cancellation of the AI AR live concert where Nichi Sanji flew over a lot of the livers to do pre-recorded content and to prepare and rehearse for that concert. But then Nichi Sanji ended up canceling the concert due to COVID. Okay. And the livers were pissed. Even like Vox Akuma tweeted about it online and uh, it was not, it was not subtle at all. So in that regard, does the contract say anything about whether or not they would get reimbursed? At, they would have yeah. at least to reimburse the flight tickets? So if they request them to do something, right, they need to pay them back. Mm -hmm. Now, if they cancel it, I believe like if they canceled it, that's just under basic legal principles. That's called like expectation interest or reliance interest. So if you tell me, Rima, hey, I want you to fly to Toronto for this mm -hmm. conference, right? And you tell me you're going to pay me and I do it on your promise to pay me, I am expecting to be paid. Okay. And then if when I get off the flight, you know, my phone wasn't working, you cancel I have now taken an action based on the expectation. You need to at least pay me the amount that I am damaged by your, uh, by those expectations. Right. Mm -hmm. So for example, you might not. So for example, let's say you're going to pay, pay for my travel and you're going to pay me a fee for speaking at the convention. You don't have to pay me this, the fee for speaking, but you do have to pay me the ticket, at least oh, pay me the ticket. What about the lodgings and so on? If I have to use lodging, then yeah, right? So okay. if you're flying, for example, to Tokyo or whatever, and it's canceled, well, you're going to have to pay for the lodging. Maybe you don't have to pay for like a fee or whatever, but you have to pay for the lodging, hotel, airplane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. It's at called least. your reliance. You're relying on that, right? Does legal daddy have an art tag yet? <laughs> Sorry, I just got it. You guys are degenerates. You guys are degenerates. Uh, what are your thoughts on men's vest corsets? Uh, what? Ex what? What? A vest corset? Nani? Yeah, I'm not. Sh not. I don't. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, Jijin says, "Out of topic, but Rima is so cute. I feel Hi. like." You're like, I need to play it. Thank you very much for all of your lovely art as well. 
some of it, some of it a little lewd. Uh, to to those to those of you to those of you drawing me with horses, um, y'all are into some fucked up shit, and I hope you get <laughs> I hope you get the help you need. I re I really truly I hope I hope you get the help you need. <laughs> that clip is just so good. I love it so much. Uh, that's your that's your official intro, Rima. Um, Matthew Uzelis says this is really bad. What happens if it's the last day of the month? You only get three days. What about the holidays? No except. Did you see an exception in there? Did you see an exemption? Nope. Niji Sanji, baby. Niji Sanji. It is. Uh, I believe it's business days. It's business days. But still, that's pretty tight in terms of reimbursement. Yeah, business day, business day. So it's not going to be a weekend, right? So a holiday, so you actually holiday. So a holiday is not a business day. It's not actually going to count. Then Tazo says the good, discussing the contract has been legit. The bad, legal mindset just did pro bono on the Niji contract. Offering. No, I didn't. See, this is actually a, an argument. What do you think about this argument? I've seen people making it on Twitter, Rima, that I'm helping Niji Sanji. What do you, what do you think about that? Uh, wait, what do you mean? How would you help them? So I guess people are trying to argue or say that like I'm giving Niji advice on like they're oh, like going to listen to me and change their contracts. Because you pointed but, out some stuff that was sloppy out of them. Yeah. I mean, well, I, uh, so, so, okay. I'm trying to figure out what's the bad thing that might happen. So they might fix their contract and make it like not break the law. Yeah. Like, that's a good thing. Bro. That's a good thing. Yeah, I, I think you pointed out a much more positive things than you pointed out, yeah. like two blunder they did. And yeah, they could fix it, but it's not going to make their contract significantly better. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about that. Some people say, oh, in court, they'll be able to defend themselves better. It's not going to court, guys. Just like, yeah, court's not going to happen here. Uh, it's, this isn't going to be litigated. Most 99% of this is just the threat, right? Because they've got the contract. Now, in Japan, it might. If it's a Japanese citizen against Japan, maybe, right? Maybe. But with America, I think one of the reasons why they invest less in the Americans and why they treat them kind of as like the this like other thing or Canadians or whatever else is because they know they can't have as much power and control as they have in Japan. Right. Yeah, that's it. But uh, but yeah. But yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, thank you for the monkey emojis in the chat. And the 39 IQ emojis. We're gonna have some new emojis soon. Uh Rima, mm -hmm. anything else? No, I think that's it. I think you answered all my cool. questions. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, stick around. We'll talk to some stuff. I have some interesting stuff. I'll talk okay. to you after the stream. But guys, we're on four hours now. So I have officially done a lot of stream. I've done more than a work work day worth of streaming today. This is like nine hours of streaming in 24 hours. So I am going to go to get some food. It is Three o'clock a.m. and the oh izakaya God. is still open, but then I am I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I may have some clips that come out or some pre-recorded videos, or I may try to record a video but not stream just of like the top bad things in the contract. Maybe I'll do that. But other than that, I'm gonna take 24 hours off. I am beat. Make sure you guys are liking the video, uh, sharing this out there, getting the word out there, letting people know so they can be educated on the contract on what to do and not to do on things. Uh, really appreciate everybody joining here. And also we're going to redirect to Sayu afterwards. Ooh, so I think nice. she's still streaming. She's still streaming. She's going to get some people out there. Real quick, Jeremy D says, it would be up to their $7 student lawyers to reword the contract after the fact. Yes, yes. Matthew says, you're only thinking if all the parties in the same country, time zones and Niji even consider non-Japanese, they'd have to. With enforcement of international law, particularly in an employment context, they would have to consider international holidays. They do not have a choice to think around that. Yukio says, is it possible every amicable graduation in Niji involve the talent signing extra contract that say you took an hour to sign? Yes. In fact, I would bet on that. Uh, Jeez. Uh, bad sarcastically uh, in the sense that you shouldn't be charged. You should have charged them way, way more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And last, LCP anime guy, Rima, would you be the Marine Corps warhorse? No, I would not sign my rights. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful night. And remember, you guys are all... You guys, the dinner lights.
catch you next time guys bye bye Peace.